Welcome in, Outlaws. This is KGB for the C-Sports Network. Home to your streaming Outlaws. Bringing you another Braves baseball game with my co-host, Mr. Maverick from Maverick Sports. What's up, everybody? What's up? I'd like to give a shout-out. Let's get this up over here anyways. Shout-out. Already going to start out the night with the shout-out. Say, hey, on the go with CeeLo, Mr. On the go. He's uh, streaming tonight's game, too, so good luck on over there. Uh, up in your top right corner of the center, you'll see uh, his logo with a YouTube address. It's On The Go With CeeLo. Check him out at youtube.com slash at On The Go With CeeLo. Secondly, we got Goose Sports, another great streamer. Hey, if you like sports, sports stuff, guys, these streamers that I'm talking about are, are A-OK -okay in my book, so... You like what you see here you'll definitely enjoy watching their streams as well uh CeeLo does a little a little more sport he does nascar baseball basketball football uh hockey he does live streams from the disney parks and blogs blogs from cruise ships so awesome awesome dude man be sure to check him out again let's throw up goose's uh goose sports you can check him out at youtube.com slash at goose sports Oh, should we shamelessly plug Mr. Maverick? There you go. Maverick from Maverick Welcome Sports. in, Noah. There you Welcome have it. In, There's Noah. his address. Appreciate it. Hey, Noah. Welcome in there, Noah. <laughs> yeah, I see you over there on CeeLo stream. Appreciate you popping in. Yeah, I'm going to I'm gonna pop back over there here pretty soon. Uh, I want to see how... He, he got the 3D set up. Okay. I showed him how to get, get to it and, and stuff yesterday. So once he's able yeah. to, to actually get it, he set his stream up for it. And he showed me, uh, I don't know who that is. Give me one second here. Yep. Yeah. All right, sorry about Ooh. that, everybody. Had a phone call. Just watching the weather radar. Uh, just in Alabama, there's some nasty storms headed my way. Oh, uh, yeah? Here's yeah, the radar uh, for, the, for our Chicago White, White Sox game today. Um, Anything up in this area, we can see... I uh, see a delay. I know there's rain that was supposed to come in around 6.40 uh, Central Time, my time. So, All right. Again, like I said, I'm getting over here on the silos. Yep. I don't think the game is live yet. No, we're still, we're still five minutes from first pitch. I'm actually over already over there, but I'm just kind of watching what he's doing as well. Mm. Yeah, it was. Finally saw. Redeems in the chat <clears throat> as well. Exclamation point. Redeem. Uh points no exclamation point but yeah points, it looks like the uh weather weather is going to hold up there in chicago ain't gamble it? those points and the more points well you if have, i went to the interact just by yeah. hanging out here you get points let me go to interact and uh gifted 10 memberships okay. rick thank you sir. i know earlier we were nope, looking sorry, at sorry i called you sir again i'm we were, sorry well, thank you rick. That little appreciate green blimp, those 10 but... gifted memberships oh, no it was more than a blimp. thank you so much rick well you know what i mean sir that's awesome. Oh, I did it oh, again. Thank you for it, the subscribe. I'm wow. just going to do it, Rick. I'm sorry. I know. Mm. I'm, I just, it's, it Must comes out of Noah. I appreciate What's it, up, Noah. Thank What's you, going buddy. on? Hello from Chicago. Let's go White Sox. 
He says, I appreciate it, bud. Thank you. Oh, well, thank you so much, Rick. Like Rangers I said, last Rangers night, I did a uh, Texas Rangers yeah, versus Tampa to Bay Rays Matzik game last night. He is back. Good to have Normally, him I don't stream well. during the week, Welcome. so it was one of them spur of the moment type deals. So, next day, that on Chilo again. He's waiting for the game to start, too. Yep. Remember, guys, hit those thumbs up. Hit those thumbs up. We're shooting for a 25. 25 thumbs up goal tonight. I know it's it's a lot for how I've just started streaming on a more consistent basis again, but I think we can do it. I think we I think we'll have enough people come through. If everybody everybody does their part and hits that thumbs up, I think we'll be okay. Of course, I want you to like what you're thumbing up first, of course. But thank you very much. <clears throat> oh, sorry about that. <clears throat> Been a long day. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, we'll see. Like I said, um, It was a 90-94. Let me go back to the interacting. Yeah, you're a little bit uh, to the north, though. I think Chicago is just to the south. Chicago was right here. There we go. Yep. This is where we should be. Yep, down here by the university, I think. No, you're in Elk Grove Village. You're way, you're way south. Well, here's the yeah, 9094. There, there it is. All right, there it is. Right there, right next to the 9094 screen. There you go. You're you're gonna be at right at 35th Street. Yeah, we need 35th. Go north just a little bit. I gotta get it zoomed in so we can see the streets. Yep. You're right around in that area. Yeah, no, I think we're too high here. It shouldn't be that, yeah. that, that far up. I don't think no. we're up where the river went like that. No. It. The University of Chicago is just to the south, southeast of the stadium. You're going south. Well, it looks like this is the area it would be in. And as you see, the timer's running, and there's nothing coming yep. through. So I think we'll be okay. All right. So about 42 yeah, degrees they got, right uh, now. Right, we are live in the game. Yes, they are. Let's Here comes Acuna Jr. up the back. Toyota dealers. Yep. You know the drill at the top. Acuna, Albies, and Riley. Let's get this. Yep. At the bottom, Chadwick Tromp will get the starting catcher to give Travis Darno a break. And Adam Duvall will be in back left field. Working. And on the mound, 6'6 six, six lefty. And it's Garrett Crochet had a really good start on opening day. He did. Back in the rotation since the first time since he was in college. It has been a while, but he was very good. Big time fastball that averages 97 miles an hour. The lefty is set and ready to rock and roll. And the first pitch, Ronald Acuna skies behind home plate. That's going to be foul ball. I mentioned the winds. They're kind of blowing that way out. Acuna towards got the lucky. Maybe that caused an issue for the White Sox catcher. White Sox oh, yeah. catcher couldn't you know, get it. In the first game yeah, Martin Maldonado did not he get the ball. The winds are playing havoc with the baseball. So 
is really, really windy there. Welcome in, Matthew. Welcome in, buddy. Welcome in, everybody. So new life for Acuna. There's the life on that fastball, CJ, 98. Yeah, it's a big-time fastball that he has. This kid was a reliever right out of college, drafted in 2020, and spent no time in the minor league. Remember, everybody, be sure to get your votes in if you're here. For, uh, many guys that have gone straight for we've got drafted. one game out of the three needed for a Golden Baseball Broom celebration. So if the chat community the votes the correct team to win tonight, we'll be uh, up two games two, with heading into the third. Opportunity with the a big third, arm. There so. were no minor leagues in 2020. Of course, that was the COVID season. And they took a chance. He came out of the SEC, went to the University of Tennessee, figured he could probably. All right. And he actually threw the ball pretty now, I kind of think we should change the Golden Broom around five. a little bit. Slider. Takes care of Acuna. Yeah. That's the reason swing I say that is right three, one I think, out. I think we should call it the Golden Broom when we sweep. That means for the Braves here this evening, they are going to have to. And maybe do oh, something, I mean, maybe do something else for, for the, the chat vote. Get right. And how about Ray Ray returning, not just right. to Chicago? Where we just I mean, have, we have a Golden Broom celebration every time that they sweep the team. His opportunity here tonight. Yeah. I'd like to beat the heat as well tonight. I've been thinking about that. What do you guys think? <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm okay with it. Earlier, at least. I mean, we can give something away at the end of the stream. Local. And since then, it has been dry, and the forecast for the rest of the evening looks pretty dry. We might get a few snow flurries later on. So, yeah. Crochet Folks, is outside the Aussie Albies, one and one to count. Oh, it's starting that crap. I bet my mic. I bet my. Homer seven driven in already this season. Soft roller to Lopez and the former soft roller to Lopez over the first for out number two. It's kind of interesting to think how we're seeing essentially two former Chicago White Sox relievers. Happy to have you in, Matthew. Starting pitching matchup. Haven't, haven't seen you around too much. Welcome in, Matthew. Thanks for popping in. You too, well. Noah. All kinds of I seen, here tonight. I didn't see Matthew over there on Desmets. on Celos, but he could have been. I I don't know about yeah, Crochet, as you said, his first ever start was on opening day. Uh, has 72 bullpen appearances, but now his second what? career start comes Can't against the mighty Atlanta Braves lineup. Austin Riley, happy birthday to him. He is 27 today. And he had a home run on his last day as a 26-year-old yesterday. Maybe it's just because he's been around a while, but mm. I feel like Austin's closer to 30. Come on, Riley. But good to know he's only 20. Good for him. Congratulations on still being young. He mentioned the guys that have done well against left-handed high-powered fastballs since the beginning of last year. He's been the best in this Braves group. <laughs> I know you can't see it yet because my ain't wanting to pop in. 95 and higher. We're seeing 98 and 99 right now from Garrett Crochet. Actually, it is giving me issues. 2-2. Two, 2-2. Two. And he got it. 2-2. Two, two. Really Ooh. Crochet. crochet is pitching gas. Hmm. Riley is gone. I know the storms are wreaking havoc all over the Midwest. From what I'm seeing. Yeah, they are. So heartfelt, heartfelt uh, empathy out there or whatever the word I'm looking for, for all the families that are going through rough time right now. Yep. Wish the best to you right guys. Now. Go ahead. No, I just saying I wish the best for them. Oh, yeah, that, I mean, right now, just east of Cincinnati, Ohio, there's a tornado warning. There's an, another tornado just to the north of Knoxville, Tennessee, into Kentucky, going into Virginia, which, uh, jotting its course right up Interstate 81. And there's another tornado warning just to the southwest, uh, just to the north of Huntsville, Alabama, across the over into Tennessee just to the west of Chattanooga so I mean there's there's active tornado warnings out there uh, everybody up and down from Ohio Virginia 
uh, West Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Alabama, and Mississippi are all under th severe thunderstorm uh, warning watches and warnings. So if you live anywhere, we're in that path, everybody. Please, please uh, take immediate action. Stay, uh, stay active on your uh, weather radios and, and news broadcast about the weather. Mother's nature is nothing, nothing you don't want to mess with. So. Three teams that he played with last Oh, welcome year. in, Gene. Welcome back, brother. Mean Gene. What's up, bro? <laughs> So the Braves stretched him out in the spring. He brought now sheet stakes. Nice cold go glass of goat milk from Bab, he says. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Uh, well, normally, guys, I'm... Yeah, normally I'm not here, but... My buddy now that he's trying to said, hey, games. Always kind of the case with can you should sit on in? I'm like, sure, why not? Into the rotation is what happens with their yeah. and their pitch. Easy. I went to the doctor today, and I just kind of need the buddy to sit with me. So yep. Found out, no found problem, out. Man. I got to go see four specialists now. So now facing his former team for the first time in yep. his yeah, career. It's unfortunate, man, but. The woman told me that there's a, I got a lot, a lot going on right now, a lot wrong. Is how she put it. She said, we're going to take this chunk and bust it off and see if we can't get these under control. And then we'll continue on with the next and the next and the next. I'll tell you what, when she got done with, with everything that's going on with me, it looked like a damn grocery list. Hey, what's up, D? Welcome in. Welcome in, D. How's it going, buddy? And it will be very interesting to see ultimately how the season plays Ooh, out. Ooh, big swing and a miss, strike, strike three. Up that first strike that out. could be two outs. Yeah. And what the season plays out. Lopez season, looking sharp possible. already. Anticipating he's going to make 32 yes, strikes. Yes, he is. But you'll take everything you possibly can get. There's 90. Now, is this Lopez new for us? Yes, he is. He came over from the uh, Chicago White Sox. Okay, I thought I thought he had to have been new because we didn't have this guy pitching last year, starting pitcher for last year. No, he he was more of a relief pitcher for the Chicago White Sox. So I enjoyed the weather. Not that it's any better today, although no rain certainly will be nice. But the Braves went right at him. Charlie Morton did a great job setting the tone again. Their best hitter, and they shut him down all day. Popped out to right field. Ronald Acuna. getting under yeah. it. Has it. He's a can of corn out number three. One, two, three first. I hear you, Gene. I hear you. The Razma, uh, Razmap a bit. All right. All right. <laughs> oh, nice, D. You took the day off. Oh, nice. Congratulations oh, there, D. Yeah, congratulations. Now we got commercial break in progress. So I see uh, CeeLo's Cee got the new interactive working for him. He asked me about it. Yes, he does. I uh, I explained it to him and showed him showed him where to find it. And we uh, we figured out that you got to have a subscription to him in order to see that kind of stuff. Yep. So... I started off offering him my credentials, and then he found that it was only thirty dollars for a year subscription to it. So he just went ahead and got himself one. Yeah. He showed me, he showed me a, a screenshot of the final product. I told him look look good. Yeah, we got Mav to do here soon, but. If I could figure out a way for it to flawlessly work on a on one screen, because that's all he has is one screen. If I can figure yeah. a way to do that, then I'll be able to set it up for him. Otherwise, he's gonna have to get himself in and get that the second monitor in. Scoreless Damn, Gene. Game, and we check out our <laughs> Yellowwood bringing the being born is way better than being hatched like Mav. Damn. <laughs> Major League ranks this season first in average. OPS Damn it, Gene. You got jokes so tonight, brother. Yeah, it's all good, good, man. Jokes on you, even. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> see what a great start they got off to. 
Not a lot of changes. Or I think about the. So Matt Olson is up to bat for Atlanta. In front of, behind of, the work Come on, Matty O. Seitzer is picking up where they left off from a year ago. And really, all, the only hiccup so far. Come on, Matty O. Now, the way I'm watching tonight's game through that, I, I like it because you can actually uh, pop that out into uh in picture in picture crochet dealing to olsen three balls and no strikes and he missed on four straight there's your first oh mario it's a walk yeah crochet was absolutely <laughs> we'll take that i mean i'd rather see we'll them smash it, homer or, or like get a double but be few and far between hell if they're gonna walk i told you matt, matt olsen has a real good eye lead off walk all day yeah. long and see what the braves can do with it in that opening day start all right here comes the bung marcelo zuna uh well seven batting average one home run three rbis and ops of five point five hundred right leg They always heard, but Ozuna falling off like and today. taking a ball to the knee. Doing your best to stay warm. There's get a little hop, skip, and jump around. Body part in this temperature. They catch him and actually ball. catch it. Yeah, it did. Caught him hey. on the outside of that right knee. Okay, it was like weird looking from yeah. the side there. Kind of hard to track that baseball. No See that guy saying what I was thinking. I couldn't it's tell that it hit him. So we were having that conversation. Yeah, it yeah, barely grazed him. Advantage. You get that foul tip. Eric Crochet goes right back inside. He did it with a slider, but you're right back in there. Trying Welcome to make in, everybody. Appreciate you stopping by. Hey, if you're new to the stream, you haven't done so already, and you do and like to see, make sure to hit that thumbs up and definitely subscribe. And nobody to me. wants to get jammed. Nobody wants one off the end of the Look, Ma, I'm a poet and didn't know it. Your hands ring for days. <laughs> Strike. Outside corner, and Ozuna is rung up by home plate umpire Tom Hanahan. This looks like a backdoor cutter here. Oh, right, that's Maldonado was set up, so it wasn't intentional. Yeah, I'll I take that. I'll give him that a strike. It worked out really well. Is it just finished down and away to yeah. Ozuna? You can certainly see what they like about Garrett Crochet and why they're trying. Adam to Duvall with a 247 batting, where average last season 21 home runs, 58 RBIs. There's a strike on and an OPS of a point eight three four. He had that they were doing this. I didn't necessarily agree with it because he had been such a good reliever. But you see what's going on here and what happened in that first start. All right, yeah, so oh, no doubt he's a big guy coming out of the bullpen, throwing as hard as he can. But it seems like he's converted yeah. pretty nicely so far. Duval, Duval swinging out of his helmet there, zero and two. Oh, man, call it for us, baby. All right, so that was a swing and a miss by Adam, du Mr. Doobie himself, Adam Duvall. So it's 0 and 2 to count. Doobie. One out, runner on first, top of the second. Doobie. That's the plan, at least. Crochet comes set. Upstairs, ball one. So one and two to count. Pressure on Garrett Crochet. Do Doobie. Want to do. They are carrying an extra reliever right now, which is for in the rotation yeah absolutely Doobie. happy belated yeah. easter Doobie. everybody Doobie. in the game especially after what we saw in game one of this series while well, you make that downstairs in the dirt tomorrow. ball two thank you D. two and two that. to count ball to lay off two and two yeah this is uh this is mlb's 3d interact and of course you know if mav and i are going to stream together we got to have both cams on Brave so that had to be set up yep. great field no uh, I got a I cell phone app that takes a picture and and makes emojis out of you. So that's how I got uh, the emoji face up there. That's what it says is me now. But I realize it's you know small similarities, but I'll take it. That that's my uh, yep. avatar. Crochet comes set, fires, swung on and missed. Strike three. That's four, four strikeouts strike for, for Garrett Crochet. Oh, this dude's on fire. And this is 98. It's elevated. 98 mile an hour. Again, not all Throwing some heat. Equal. You get a night like tonight. This ball is jumping out of the hand of Garrett Crochet. 
and what would already be a tough night to hit gets even e more train swing and a miss so far this evening here we go with Harris. With Harris as he checks over on Matt the money Mike. So money That's Mike. right. Hell. Forgot he all the holes in me and I first. <laughs> yeah. You've been all quiet out there. <laughs> the crochet comes set by upstairs. Ball one to Ooh. Michael Harris. <laughs> Michael Harris is bundled up. But the fact that he's been able to get not as bad as they were last night. Certainly oh yeah. Oh, thank you, Gene. I appreciate it. Swung on, grounder to second, Puts fires over to first for out. Ah, uh, easy out number three. Probably stung a little bit. Yep. Braves leave Olson. Do up will be Sheets Vaughn and Shoemake for the Chicago White Sox. <clears throat> yeah, unfortunately, guys, I'm still on that one monitor system right now. But there's ways around that. And it's just, it's hitting at a bad Broke time right this minute. <laughs> <laughs> Procrastinator. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, man, I tell you. Yeah, they even did an EKG. Thankfully, the EKG came out okay today. Well, that's good. She told me that there was nothing there that set off alarm bells or anything. But everything else that it does. Oh, yeah. Man. Jane just said, uh, pretty clean too, clan. And when someone wants to uh, chat it, cover your face, switch with Mav. Oh, I, I don't get that. You mean have a have a chat block? Is, is that what you're saying? No snacks today, boys. Like Reynaldo Lopez with our John Foy <laughs> strong arm and associates. Hey, Look at the we get to have our snacks as a starter versus as a reliever in his career. No real surprises there across the board. He had been. Hey, I guess I don't understand what you mean. Year as a starter back and when someone chats, it covers your White face. Sox, it does. Thirty-two starts, three point nine one ERA. But here's what you take away from it. You remember Mike Miner, the lefty? Oh, uh, he'll be. He's, he's typing away. I bet you. And kind of found his fastball. <laughs> And then back into the rotation. You know, Gene, he's he learned. He's a mastermind of jokes. So successful starter, I think for Ronaldo, there could be some similar. That's right. He makes me laugh. That's such a big drop. That's right. I invite, I invite that, that any day. Mile per hour curveball. You contrast that to 98, 99, 100 miles per hour on the fast. Outside ball two to Sheets. Gavin Sheets. Last season, average two hundred three, ten homers, forty three ribbies, and an OPS of point five nine nine. Lopez fired or swung on and made strike one. Braves dominated yesterday nine to nothing. It was a rain shortened game that only went eight innings. Charlie Morton getting the victory. In the bullpen, <laughs> he's, he's, he's he's Chicago disappeared. to just three hits. So far, both of these. It's all good. Two and two. <laughs> Another reason that you can feel good about Ronaldo Lopez getting this opportunity as you get. A couple of left handers in this lineup. I, swear. I, I know there's a last year than it was right. He was look, there's a function that you can do the that you can, uh, so you're not concerned about the lefties. We might have to look into it. There's a uh thing like when you when you go to take off, like when you need to step away for a minute, you can actually turn your microphone off and you warp off like coming here. So you, you completely disappear. Ball and then when you come back, you reappear. He tried to sell that, didn't he? And it's not, I don't know if it's a cam cover or what, but it, I've seen it one time on another channel. Right in the middle of the live stream, he just, I said, I'll be right back. It's a button. Within 30 seconds, he comes back. Comes right back. And everybody says, oh, that's, he's warping again. He's warping. 
will turn oh i had uh chicken alfredo there mr gene uh my daughter fixed it tonight so that look like emilio estevez to you i'm fasting so i'm not eating dinner tonight mighty ducks guy that sucks do not you know we like to eat hey kenneth how you doing buddy Appreciate okay, you popping in. I will be ducking underneath the countertop, <laughs> I can assure you. <laughs> Damn, Gene. <laughs> Ice cream made with goat milk. I know Matt finally caught that sucker. <laughs> Damn it. That's going to be a weekly tap up over the pitcher to first base out, number two. I'm still laughing because of what Dean just said. <laughs> so Brandon Shoemake, who used to be with the Braves, former Atlanta Brave. This season, average three point three seven five with one homer, one ribby. Major league game, his fourth start. With an OPS of one point one two five this season. And one off the bench. Inside ball one. They're planning on giving him a lot of opportunity here in 2024. Again, as they're discovering what they have, I think in their system, even though they have some established big leaguers, this side, this guy, certainly one that they want to see. Can he be a part of the future? And Outside ball two. So two and zero. Oh second base to Brandon Shoemake. Shortstop. And Paul DeYoung and Nicky Lopez are kind of short-term. Got two outs. Right now, bottom of the second. Play some better defense. For Braden Shoemake, it's more about Shoemake pops it up to left. Down the left field. The ball over for an easy can of corn for out number and three. That well, ends the second. Three, no score. Great start so far for Reynaldo Lopez. So we go to the, the top Braves of the third. Repeat yesterday how in the third they turned it on. You'll have Orlando Garcia, Chadwick Trump, and back to the heart uh, top of the order for Ronald Acuna Jr. for the Braves. Do up. Remember, guys, please hit that like button. Absolutely yeah. free to hit that like button. Yeah, you told me about it. Sorry, man. Oh, yeah, no worry, man. No worry. It's your stream. I'm just helping you out. <laughs> yeah, he did, Kenneth. He, he said something about going over Krakens. Yep. Sure did. And then uh, Kraken came over to me and subbed to my channel and joined the stream right before the stream ended. So, oh man, yeah, I think he was streaming wrestling. I think. I think so. I can't remember. It's been a long day there, Kenneth. Been trying to milk it. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you got uh -huh. something. <laughs> oh, Gene. Damn. <laughs> oh, Lordy. <laughs> Somehow it turned in to be a boy and not a girl. Nobody Lord. told me that the boys don't melt. <laughs> Yeah, just to, just to give you guys a heads up, you guys um, you guys take show, uh, keep an eye on the weather tonight here in Georgia. If you're living in Georgia, keep an eye on the weather. We got some nasty weather headed this way. So, what did he say this time? He can only find one other. <laughs> oh, jeez. Chasing breaking balls anymore. The biggest change is and for some reason, Mavs like, but, but she's only got so one tee. It's impressive because, yes, ultimately, I, I don't understand it. She's only got one tee. That takes a really long, long time before she gets with you. Anything to do that, I think, for I gotta sit there and squeeze and squeeze and squeeze and yank and squeeze for a long time. What part of the zone can you get the pitches in? If you can, try to be a little bit more patient. I mentioned this before. There's an ego that comes Mav. out. And knowing how good you are, and also thinking you can hit everything. And the reality is that most cannot. 
And as soon as you can cut that chase down, pretty good chance you're going to see your production go <laughs> up with it. And CJ, the other thing that jumped out to me was his strikeout rate is stayed steady throughout his entire career. At 20 so it's not that he's swinging and missing. Yet. Oh, here we go. Contact he's getting is much higher. He's doubled his barrel rate, if you will, and that is basically God. having high quality contact. God damn it, man. We, we had a discussion about your girlfriends coming on here. Oh, Lordy. <laughs> Seems to have met a really nice person here recently. And I've known him for a long time, and I've always wanted him to have, uh, have you know, have somebody significant in his life. It seems like she could be the one. Amazing. Savvy Sav says, my friend was showing me his tool, his tool shed and pointed to a ladder. That's my step ladder, he said. I never knew my real ladder. Yeah. There you go. There's a good joke. Now welcome in, Savvy. Downstairs, ball one to Chadwick Trump. Yeah, they're fifteen dollars in the ballpark. They're seventy-five dollars if you go down. <laughs> Damn, it's a, it's a joke kind of night on Tuesday night. How about That's who would have right. thought? Well, we all joke around in the channel. It, it's all it's all good, clean laughs, man. Solid Guys and gals. And just his second career start. The crochet comes set, fires. Chadwick Trump pops it up. Just shallow left field. Backing up and uh, there was almost a collision but he takes it in front for of out number two. Out. Make no assumptions tonight based on what we've seen on a couple of the fly balls. We saw the one behind home. Play. I could just imagine how cold it is in Chicago right now. Your left fielder take this. And yeah. That could be a Because we're in the we're in the mid to low 30s. And they the they got all, all the rain the weather that we had coming. They, it, while it's Sleep Back rain for us. Order, it rained ice yeah. balls for a while today. All right, so we got Ronald Acuna Jr. up 0 and 1 on today. Uh, 353 <laughs> average yeah, on the season. Chicago, Zero home yeah. runs, two RBIs, and a point eight six two OPS on this. This is the game yesterday when he was out in right field. It was chilly. He struck he out in the first. He He's now one and one, two outs, more. top of the third with a tie score. At zero. That one came in on the head. That's going to be a shallow hit out to uh, an easily caught right out to number three. Number three. Ugh. You know, neither team is having a very good showing whatsoever. I think I think it's the weather. The oh yeah, the, man. When it's cold like that, that re baseball yeah. has got to be one of the harder harder sports to play in the cold it does it does for sure i mean not only your hands and your body getting cold but the balls get cold you know i mean yep. it all changes everything a warm yep. ball certainly hits different than a cold ball yeah i think i and feel it, it does the the shock from the ball hitting the bat goes right up the arms into the back and then, then you sit in the dugout, sit under the warmers, and then, then you start <laughs> feeling it afterwards. Oh, man. It's been definitely been a long day. <laughs> That's for sure. Gene says he can't play if his balls are cold. Damn. Oh, like I said, goodness. a set of cold balls function differently than a, a set of warm. <laughs> oh. Damn. <laughs> so I brought oh, the tomahawk out tonight. Do, 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 do. Oh, shit. There we go. Damn it. I, did see this. I just hit a bunch of buttons. Done for just a second. Well, sorry, I didn't bring my tomahawk out tonight. Third, no score between the Braves and the White Sox. Brandon, go I made I sure. I, I made sure if those White Sox people pissed me off, I could give them the finger. 
<laughs> I hear you. Downtown Chicago. That water, though, looks so Fletcher up to bat for the Chicago White Sox. Today they did the polar plunge in Lake Michigan. Oh. And that's going to be strike one from Ronaldo Lopez. That would be my first and last polar plunge. That guy's ready for a polar plunge. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> Just on the outside corner, does not get the call. Ball one. Lopez on his 20. It'll be his 23rd pitch, this next pitch. Not, not too bad for being in the bottom of the third. So one and two to count. Nobody out. Nobody on base. No of the season, bottom of the third. Baseball, the Astros, Ronel Blanco. This is eighth career start. No hit the Blue Jays. <laughs> that was a good story, too, for a guy that was not supposed to be in the rotation. It took two injuries. Justin Verlander. Oh, yeah. That was a great pitch right there, right down the heart of the plate. Out uh, number one. What a great pitch. Third strikeout for Lopez. He takes care of Fletcher. He looks really sharp and comfortable. Here. He's a little First ahead of me. Against the Chicago White Sox hitters, just, mentioned just the a great smidge. work that he did against lefties last just year. Just a smidge. Right down the middle. But again, when you see that, a lot of times it's the pitch sequence. So we got tricky Nicky, Nicky Lopez. And you guess wrong, and that happens. We gave him that nickname here in Atlanta. Locked in like Ronel Blanco was last so he takes strike one from Ronaldo Lopez. So it's a, really good story. So it was a battle of the Lopez's. Kind of Tricky Nicky and Ronaldo. I believe at the age of 22, he was working at a car wash. Waldo versus Tricky Nicky. He's 30. Outside, ball one. So one and one to count to Tricky. In the minor leagues, that's yeah. Waldo the gets yeah. back on the mound. He was very looks in after the game. He gets his sign for Chadwick Trump. Having that journey, that long journey, delivers, fires, and just his eighth start is a fouled off. Pretty special. Strike two. So Here's one and two to Nicky count to Tricky Nicky. So one debate came up from that. Of course, it was a huge moment for him throwing that no hitter, but it was also Joe Espada's first win as a big league manager. Who gets the scorecard? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta give it to Bob, right? so, Waldo fires. Well, What's going on him? To the screen. The we'll do it again. Damn, Gene. Mavs Tomahawk got lost when he was chasing the goat. That goat. Yeah. <laughs> I read it. <laughs> Damn. So one of the questions that's been answered here with Ronaldo Lopez, we were talking about. So one and two to count. One out. Waldo fires. What might change? Swung on, grounder to Ozzy Albies, fires over the first for out number two. Curveballs all of last season. Slider there, right at Ozzy Albies. They call him Ronaldo, but I call him Waldo. Where's Waldo? Spent parts of six seasons here on the south side, and he's feeling right at home back here at Guaranteed Rate Field. Well, he certainly has pitched here in these conditions before, has done it. Again, as a reliever, but also as a starter, and understand exactly Upstairs, what it's Upstairs, ball to one to Martin Maldonado. He's 0 for 8 on the season so far <laughs> for Martin. For on the season so far. Oh, well. <laughs> Martin Maldonado pops it up cracking to center jokes, field. Man. Underneath is Michael Harris for out number three. Out to center. That's the end of the Harris. third. We go to the top of the fourth, no score. Through three innings. What was being said? Okay. <laughs> Dad buying a fake Christmas tree. Cashier says, are you are you going to put it up yourself? Dad says, don't be disgusting. I'm going to put it, put it up in the living room. <laughs> you get it, right? <laughs> yeah. You're not, yes, are you going to put it up yourself? You know, like up your ass? Yeah, I it's, know what he meant. He says, that's why he says, don't be disgusting. I'm going to be putting it up in the, yeah. in the living room. Yeah, I know what he meant. No, you didn't. <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Tuesday night, uh, Tuesday night jokes. <laughs> the only joke around here is what's in your pants.
Oh, Matt, me. Matt Dude. puts it up himself. Remember, everybody, please hit that <laughs> like button. If you're just now tuning in, please hit that like button. We're up to 13 likes so far for the stream. 13 likes. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank now, you. Uh, Kenneth, if you want to find a, find a channel for us to go over and post it here in the chat so I can click on it to get to it. Look at our Zaxby saucy play, and it's Ozzy always Ooh, uh, what he's done so far this year on both sides of the field. Yeah, he's been terrific. Both sides of the field, both sides of the batter's box, everything that he brings to the table. He's off to a really nice start, showing off some of that power as well, and everything we expect from the brace second baseman. Led all second baseman last year in homers and runs driven in and slugging percentage, and right now he's... Ozzy Albies heading to the plate. I just really hope for him that he can somehow find his way into that top 10. Albies is over for one today. Embarrassing list that we saw from MLB Network this offseason. Swing and a miss. Strike one. I think that was a gross oversight. Sure, we we need to pause yours for like four seconds and then end pause it. Okay, one, two. Three, and it's a four, five. Runs light in our game. Yes. You start looking around. All right. The ball just got handed back to Crochet. I'll be standing back in the batter's box. Yep. And we're, now we're yep. safe. Oh, and two. Yep. Crochet the fires. Pitcher, throws it. Throws fires it. First, it runs over. One. First. Sweet. Yep. We're safe. You felt a little pain for Ozzy. Well, there's oh, nothing oh, wrong oh, with that. Hands when I see that happen yep. for guys, just 46 miles an hour off. We should be synced now. up now. Obby okay. throwing his helmet, uh, putting oh, his helmet I mean, on the. Right in the high school, you yeah. He's sitting down on the dugout bench. Back to Crochet. Crochet fires to Austin Riley. Swing and a miss. So yesterday there was a rain delay, and then play resumed briefly for one more inning, and that's when Austin Riley hit his three-run homer. Crochet fires on the inside corner, ball one. A one and one to count to Austin Riley. I'm probably the only guy that was happy that we kept playing for one more inning. That's right, and it was impressive because, as we noted, the ball was not carrying at all, and he drove it out. Swung on, off Garrett Crochet to the second, over to first, out number two. Got him. Both pitchers just Damn. continuing to cruise here. So we're going to have Matty O, Matt Olson up to bat for Atlanta. See if Matt Olson can put us on the board. And then after that Riley homer, the White Sox didn't get anything in the bottom of the eighth. It started to rain again. They re the field. So crochet fires. Was it. Nine to nothing. Down the heart of the plate, strike one. Which interesting was the same if you want to keep up with that, I'm going to step away for a minute. Yep. Atlanta against the Sox in game one of the so all one to count. Crochet fires to Matty O. Upstairs, ball two, one. So one and one three. to count. That won't be the case here in 2024. Kind of interesting two for mm -hmm. Crochet. You mentioned that really good first start that he had against the Tigers. He's nearly so one and one to count. Two outs, nobody on base, no score. Crochet fires. Matt Olson pops that one up and out of play. Strike two. So one and two to count to Matt Olson. Maybe next start. Maybe next start. Yeah, that game that he pitched him because it was a pitcher's duel on opening day. It lasted two hours and three minutes here at Guaranteed Rate Field. So crochet. Comes set, fires, upstairs, ball two. So two and two to count to Matt Olson. So here he is, 52 pitches into his outing and really not showing any signs of slowing down with that velocity to see him maintain. So crochet fires, is swung on, hit the center, but shallow Olson, center. Who has been the only guy to reach and the Lewis Jr. underneath it for out number three. To center field, onto the so we go to the bottom of the fourth, no score. All right, guys, if you're just now tuning in, please hit that like button. Also, more importantly, if you're new to the stream, just um, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell. So the chat, when the channel does go live, you will get the notification bell. Also, more importantly, guys, the channel is partially monetized. Uh, there is super stickers and super chats and also memberships available. Uh, you guys can pick three different tiers. 
uh, which is the rookie class, pro class, and the MVP class. Um, we made it uh, we made it economical for everybody to uh, get in on a membership if, if they chose to or so choose to. So let me get my words right. So head on over there and subscribe to the channel. And also, more importantly, hit that membership if you want to join the Outlaw Club. Also, more importantly, guys, I know uh, I'm the co-host tonight, but I'm helping my buddy out here. I also do have my own YouTube page as well under Maverick Sports. Uh, you can check out my channel as well. I'll link the channel in the chat. Bear with me momentarily. All right, there is my channel, everybody. Uh, if you go over there, you can check out my page as well. If you're new to the stream, I know Gene and Kenneth and and uh, and a few others are already subscribed over there. So if you're new to the stream, if you like what you see, my the host here, my buddy, I mean, Clan from uh, Clan HBS, he does all the the inner workings of my channel. So. Got a uh, thanks to him, on, he has done a lot for me. So here we go. Waldo Tony comes set, the, the heart of the order for the White Sox. Uh, ben ben Attendee takes a curveball in, the the curve ball in there for strike one. Lopez but Andrew Ben Attendee, 0 and 1 so far. Waldo comes set, fires on the outside corner, gets the call, strike two. Got the call there. From home plate umpire Tom Hannigan, so 2 Ben Attendee's down in the count. So far, 0-2 to count. A little bit of a slow start to the season for Ben Attendee. 2 for 17. The so Walter comes set. Fires. Swung on and missed. Strike and three. On three pitches. That is great. Uh, out number one. Lopez. That, is a perfect that was a finish. high heater. You remember that first upstairs. one? Upstairs. Saw that curveball that finished at the bottom of the zone. It comes out of the same slot near the top, and it's borderline. And two strikes, of course, you don't want to take it and take that oh, chance. Oh, walk him in, nice brother. Carry. Walk him in. You got up above the zone past oh. Ben Attendi. What's so up, Killa? Hey, everybody. We got our Four clan pitches. member Killa in the house. Ooh, big swing and a foul ball from Moncada. Johan Makata, he's 0 for 1 tonight with a strikeout in the first. What do you treat it? What do you do with the emotions after being a guy that would come in and throw an inning or two? And he looks really calm and collected, but still showing good velocity. And obviously, as you mentioned, incredibly efficient. I don't doubt that he has had innings where he threw 35 pitches last year. He's so 0 and 1 to count to Makata. Waldo fires, tries to throw a backdoor the curve ball in there, said, just outside, ball the one. So one and one to count, nobody on, bottom of the fourth. One out, no score, guys, no score. Waldo fires, inside, ball two, so two and one. As of right now, there's no score, no hits, no nothing, so. So two and one to count. By the guard. Ronaldo Lopez, I call him Waldo. Waldo comes set and fires. Swung on and missed. Strike two. So two and two to count. Well, took some criticism that was not deserved. It was a really smart move that involved Ronaldo Lopez. I said I was fasting today while I'm going to eat checks next. Ah, okay. You're cheating yourself, but hey, I understand. Yeah. Downstairs, ball three. So full count, guys. Full boat. Full boat. All right. So Walter comes set. One out. Three two pitch. Swung on to right. Base hit. Gets down. That is a one out single by Johan Makata. A little bit further down is where he wanted it, but so White, White Sox get the early early single going. Inner third, give Makata a little bit of credit for that base hit. How do you tell the difference between a frog and a horny toad? A frog says rib it, rib it, and a horny toad says rub it, rub it. <laughs> <laughs> so the White Sox I know burritos for Mav. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha. 
the race robert jr big swing and a miss strike one <laughs> ronald acuna is all bundled up he's got his face mask on he's cold as hell foul tip to one so waldo fires that one on the outside corner and low way outside so ball one so one one to count yeah i gotta get my so waldo comes set fires right now in venezuela swung on and went around strike two so one and two to count so waldo looks over to first they fire over to first for a pickoff. And Makata gets back to the base. So Robert Lewis, uh, Robert Jr., one and two to count. They fire back over to first. Again. That is two well, disengagements. Now he's made two tosses over there, and so now you can get a little bit bigger lead because if he throws again and doesn't get you, you move to second. And there is a bigger lead at first than yuan has got. Just took another extra step in front over. They go back over there again. He goes to second. That is the third he's time. That's a, yeah, he gets to go to second on a uh, disengagement violation. Of a mental mistake than it is a physical mistake. Snitker can't believe it. He's going, did he lose track of the throws over there? Exactly how does that work? He's like... Ronaldo Lopez does know he's on a trial basis as this fifth starter, right? One, two, fastball, fifth strike. Out on a miss. Lopez. Robert Jr. goes down on strikes. Two out. This is the top of the strike zone. I mean, what's the right deal with him? Luis. Him doing it a third time again. if he wasn't told to. Well, now it's up to Gavin Sheets who worked to count to three and two last uh, that, time. Even Snickers face. Out of the strike he was shown. So two outs, Moncada on at second. So Gavin Sheets takes a curveball low for ball one. Two outs, runner on second, bottom of the fourth. Chicago White Sox did get an early single hit, so they have one hit on the Gavin night Sheets so far. Waldo fires on the bottom end of the corner of the strike zone. Call for strike one. The so one and one to count. Runs in scoring position this year. The Sox have struggled mightily. So Ronaldo fires, swung on and fouled out of play. Will reach the seat. Strike two. The one and two to count. Moncada will take his time going back to second, and that was a way to give his guy Sheet some extra time. Because now he's got to protect here with two strikes. So Ronaldo comes set, looks back to second, fires upstairs, ball two. Remember, everybody, please hit that like button. So Lopez missing with the fastball. If you haven't already two, done two. so. Sheets with a runner in scoring position. Ronaldo comes set. Two and two to count. <laughs> Savvy. <laughs> but the librarian told me to take it out. Two, two again. My boss hates it when I shorten Slider his name to it. Especially because of his name. His name is Steve. Yeah. <laughs> There's Andrew Vaughn in the on deck. So full boat, guys. Full boat to Gavin Sheet. He gets a chance this inning. The three-two. Hey, off pitch. That one goes foul above our head. And foul behind home plate. Just above the announcer's but. Just above the announcer's uh, booth there. So we'll do it again, full boat. Three, two, two outs. Moncada will be off with the so pitch. The three, two pitch on the way. And on the fires. Inside, ball four. And Ugh. ball four. All right, Man. settle down, Ronaldo. 
So Sheets on first, Mankato on second. Yes, Gene, I figured that he was your son. I, I, I already put two and two together. I know two plus two equals four. I think I already know that. We know where your son gets them from. <laughs> Gene, the, certainly seem like uh, Gene the jokester. Certainly seem like it was some Starts kind of family. Yeah. Oh. Uh, Vaughn with a grounder himself. to shortstop Arcia with a backhand fires over to second for the fourth out for out number three. That ends the fourth. Still no score. But the White Sox did get a hit. That's the first hit by either team tonight. So. Yep. Remember, guys, please hit that like button. And yeah, we're on a 20 like goal for the stream. Uh, we're already five away from that. So if you're new to the stream, smash that like button. Also, take an active part in the chat poll, too. So, yeah, be sure to get your chat poll stuff in, guys. Yep. We want that opportunity to get that golden broom. That's correct. Actually, I think we're going to be doing some, uh, we're going to do a little little change up to how the Golden Groom works. Yep, we were talking about it before the stream, so. I think we may actually change it up that. Excuse me. And that's just for the good. Let's actually make it better. We will hand out a golden broom celebration when the Braves actually sweep a team. No matter, there won't have to be any anything that anybody does in order to earn a golden broom. Golden broom squarely falls on if the team sweeps another team. But we're still going to do some kind of giveaway for the chat stuff. I just don't know what we're going to call it yet. So we're still going to, we're still going after the chat votes being right. With a connection, for who's going to win Stream all the way through the a series. The house with and then we'll do some kind of giveaway at the end. Five strikeouts for Garrett Crochet as he works this top of the fifth inning. No score. I think we face Marlins coming up pretty soon. Five, six, seven, yeah. plate. Marcelo Zuna leads things off. Uh, Marcelo Zuna swung on and hit the left for out number one. He put a good swing on it. The outfield, but the first ball that was hit right on the screws. Fortunately, right at Ben intended. Sorry about that. Adam Duvall, the left fielder. Struck out swinging his first time up in the second. What have you liked from Crochet so far tonight? He's just attacking the zone with everything. I mean, he's got supreme confidence in his stuff. And right now, he's throwing everything both sides oh, of the plate. Adam Duvall takes strike one. He's able to throw that slider on both sides of the plate to right hand hitters, which is something that is not an easy thing to do. Uh, I when think you do it, you I'll find out has. for you, for y'all. Oh, Adam Duvall Charging swung on to center field. That drops down ball. for a base hit. So it's a nice. So each team does have a hit. For the Braves. I'll check that for you guys. Well. Bear, bear with me. Go ahead and call it, buddy. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll look that up. I'll find hey, out. Go to the soundboard and play the play the one that says Trump. You know what? Nothing, nothing game played on the hop. Oh, yeah. Will do. I'd like to give a shout out to my good friend KGB over there at the C Sports Network. As Michael Harris steps there in, you have it. Out his first time up in the second. Thank you, Mr. President. All right. So the schedule for April for the. For the Braves, when you follow straight of course, back, like they have this three-game series in Chicago. So uh, they're off thir this Thursday, and then for the Braves' home opener, they take on the Arizona Baseball Diamondbacks at Truist Park. Went six Friday, strong. Saturday, and Sunday for the Diamondbacks, and then um, 
Here he is They'll still be at home they against the New York Mets for a four-game yeah, series yeah. starting Monday. I was going to say, there's a four-game coming up with the through the 11th. Which means the over <laughs> yep, it's a four-game series against yeah, the Mets. Surprising. Yep. And, there's a slider that wasn't and they will not miss any games. He heated them upstairs with a and then they and play then the Marlins the April 12th, well the, plate, the 13th, and the 14th. And then they, the and then and they, they go on the road against... Or no, they go on the road against the Marlins. Well, the 13th and the 14th. I think they play the Marlins twice this month. Uh, uh, no, negative. Um, they only play them once this month. And then they go okay, on the road look, against look the at Astros. Next month, then, then maybe it's right away yep. next month. Yep. Um, wow, they got a pretty... Nothing next month. For the Marlins. Yeah, I, I thought I seen that they played them twice. No. Um, Is there any team that we play twice this month? So two hits in yeah. The for the oh, they played the Marlins the in August. Um, Thursday, the first, second, and third, and the fourth of August. Arcee's so been a very good player since coming over to the it, it'd be three months before they play again. Slider on the outside corner. He just reaches out. I just must have remembered wrong. And hits it very well. Yep. Sorry about that. So the Braves Sorry, now have runners but... on first and second. What two outs. Chain? We're in the right top now. of the fifth with a tie score at about. zero. Oh, it was number 32, I think about it. But 11, nah, not so much. <laughs> Looks like Marcel. Zuna up to bat. No, no, it's Chadwick Trong. My apologies. Yep, Ch Chadwick Trong. I'd like to give a shout out to my good friend KGB over there at the C Sports Network. Thank you, Mr. President. Cutter spotted perfectly. Really appreciate it. When you're around the plate as much as Garrett is tonight, you're going to get that. That's just off the outside corner, but he's been shout out so to you many too, times. Mr. President. The Tom Hanahan just says, "Yep." Good enough. Wanted to come back inside. Uh, they got yeah, they, they the played the fish three games. They're correct, Kenneth. It's three games, and then they won't play against the fish until August. And because he missed his spot, so, all right, Gene. Maldonado go out well, thanks for stopping, bud. Well, he, he's, he's going out for a couple of reasons here. Number one, you have a good one, buddy. By plenty, which is something he hasn't done tonight. But number two. Enjoy your off time. Times, if the pitcher yes, doesn't sir. do it, the catcher has to. You have to pitch yeah. an eye on the Oh, absolutely. And you don't I'll keep laughing every time you show up. One of the best players in baseball. That's so right. Whatever you do, you have a good one, sure Gene. You have a good one, brother. He sees strikes. If he hits the ball, he hits Later, the man. ball. But you cannot walk him in this situation. I think Martinez saying, just come to me. I'm going to call you the I'm going to call so you. So two on one count to right Chadwick to Trump. Crochet fires. Two on. Swung on and missed, strike two. On that one, too, at 97. 97 on the inside corner, perfect pitch. He jammed him last time. He popped it up to shortstop. He knows that's in there and that's available to him if he wants to go back. A crochet comes set. <laughs> Fires. Rounder to the left side. Oh! Steps on the back. To the fourth Damn. out and third for out number three. Damn. Damn. Here we are one of the chances of picking up a run. Yep. You hear the crack of that bat. I mean, you could tell that it is cold there. Yeah, it's very cold. Hell, you're even seeing their breath blowing out now, so. Yeah. <laughs> I hear you, Gene. You have a good one, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Sailor's doing it pretty big over there tonight. He's got 154 people watching over there. Nice. Oh, that's cool, man. Glad he's having a good turnout over there tonight. Yep. And, you know, when it comes to interactive, dude, you know, I could have been an asshole and not said anything, but I'm not that way, dude. Yeah. You know? Nope. Because it's out there for everybody to use. So, I mean, I'm exactly. not going to well. tell somebody. Might as well share it. I'm not going to not tell somebody just because I want to try to have habit only. You know you know what I mean? Yeah. That's never been in my nature. So, when he asked about it, as a matter of fact, 
I I said something to him about it. So, yeah. Well, he was in the stream the night we were talking about it when I was telling everybody about it coming back. And yeah, I explained it to him. And, and then when he was in the stream the other night, I said, hey, you know, here's how you do it. And I, you know, showed him where to click, but he didn't have it because he didn't have the subscription yet. Right. I didn't hide it one bit. Not at all. You good dude. I like I like I like the guy. Oh, welcome back there, Gene. 19 bucks with Miller Light and baseball. That was quick. Got to be 21 and over with a valid ID. To purchase tickets, visit White. Yeah, we need a score. Slash. They just gave one. They just gave up an opportunity of it. Boot alongside the legend Steve Stone, John Triffin. I love broadcasting with you because I'm going to mess up so many times throughout the game. But you. The bats are cold tonight. The fact that you were able to it see is definitely cold there, the that's for sure. No, I just situation. mean they're batting. Crochet, get out of the inning. They're well, look, cold this is tonight. Exactly what was on the mind of Chris yeah. Gass when he went out to get Martin Maldonado. Because Maldonado and the last almost a coach with four Houston. games, they've been batting real well. On all of his pitching acumen yep. to help him through. Not situations. tonight so far. You know he's going to pick that up, and you bring in a veteran to help your young pitchers. And Crochet is that he's just learning how to be a starting pitcher. This is just his second start, and so. You get a veteran catcher, he's going to help you through this performance. I think he's going to be a godsend to a whole lot of the young pitchers that the Sox have. You are a godsend to me. <laughs> Steve Stone, <laughs> thank you. Shoemake. Lips That's going to be out the uh, shallow left. Duval and left will make Duval the under it. Duval underneath it. Bottom of the fifth. We got ourselves an old fashioned right, pitcher's one. duel here tonight. We got two guys Perfect. at the top of their games throwing as well as they can. Do throw the... on the that very much favors pitchers. I mean, you asked at the beginning about do, do, do. yesterday it was in the wet, today do, it's in the cold. Do, do, very much do, do, There's no doubt about it because number one, you know be do, do. Throw it. number two, you know what you're going to throw. <laughs> and hitters don't like to see the ball inside on a night like that. I want to be doobie, man. I want to be doobie. An inning after they hit. There's plenty of time this season for this ballpark to turn into a hitter's friendly ballpark. Oh, but it, it's going to do that. Early in yeah. this season, yeah. advantage pitchers. Very much so. Dominic Fletcher struck out looking his first time up in the third. Uh, five, ball one. Some the first Fletcher. It wasn't exactly warm. Dominic Fletcher, 0 for 1 tonight with a strikeout in the third. When that wind is not coming off the lake, the ball travels out of here. You could see it was very lively ball. Oh, uh, Renato Lopez games. fires outside, ball two. two. Luis Robert Jr. They're no, two they and one. They're, they were going anyway. Any yeah. situation. Two balls and a strike to count. So Ronaldo Fletcher. comes set. Fires. Swung on. Ozzy has right it. Right to Ozzy Albies on a hop. Easy out. To first. All right, how about a little MLB history? Third, two out. So teams to start the season 0-4 with eight or fewer runs and 40-plus strikeouts. We'll take that two out. to do it was the Braves in 2021. And what did they do? They won the World Series. So, your 2024 Chicago White Sox, it's early. Yeah, it well, it certainly is that. So, Renato Lopez comes set, fires outside, ball one. one. Looks a whole lot better than it's looked. And, you know, it's hard for a team to look lively when you're not scoring, when you're not getting a whole lot of offense. It's hard to use. Renato Lopez fires. To use your running game. Out to the screen. On base, especially Strike one. When you get the guys who can run on base. I think Pedro will try to take advantage of that, especially in a close game. But if they're not getting on base, everybody says, well, the team didn't look lively. Oh, they're, they're talking about light snow and reports in game three tomorrow. Ooh. Renato Lopez fires. Swung on to the hole. Arcea couldn't come up with it. That is. That yeah. is a base hit for Tricky Nicky. I apologize, guys. But Nicky's no, a base stealer. Yeah. I know he's been gunned down one time. But right. got behind oh, the ball took a nasty hop right at the end. But it's not a great night to throw for catchers. That's but Tricky Nicky's too fast for the uh, spit. He's got too much speed on the bases, so though. We'll see what Pedro favors. Lopez. Fire, uh, going to be firing to Mar Team Maldonado in there for strike one. You know, another thing Nicky Lopez told me the other day is let's just be honest about this team half of this opening day roster is completely new 
And they were He's 0 for 1 tonight. Straight. Fly out in the third. So Ronaldo Lopez gets his sign. Come set. Fires. Swung on. Popped up. Skied on the infield. Orlando RC underneath it for out number three. Five innings in the books. We go to the top of the six. Still no score. Mm. Welcome into the stream, everybody. And Welcome to the stream. Both teams have two hits apiece on the night. Yep. So it's the battle of the defense. It, it's a pitching duel. Uh, we got Ronaldo Lopez pitching for the Braves, and you got Garrett Crochet pitching for the Chicago White Sox. So it's been a pitching duel tonight. Both, what? both team what? offenses are not of doing nothing. Uh, no, we go to the top of the sixth. Oh, that was the. Yep. We go to the top of the six, okay, still no yep. score. So that's that right there. I'm just wondering I, I call how, that a how, much, duel. how much longer they're going to leave Lopez in. What what was his pitch count? Uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't catch it either. Um, I didn't catch it either. I know he's he's already through five, but. It doesn't say what he's up, up to. But we'll see if they do. If Snicker does bring him out, they'll, they'll let us know what how many pitches he threw. Yeah. If they do decide to take him out. I would imagine they, they probably would take him out because with it being so damn cold and... He hasn't you know, been really overextended yet. No. You know what I mean, I mean... I don't know. I think he's... I was just wondering how many was that compared to the, the amount of innings that's been there. Yeah. Because at one point, he was averaging just a little under 10, 10 pitches an, an inning. It's been an old-fashioned pitcher's duel, Steve Stone. Yeah. And not really an offensive extravaganza here as Ronaldo Lopez has dominated on two hits. And Garrett Crochet has been just a little bit better, although he's given up the two hits. He's fanned six. Both pitchers in command. Both pitchers throwing the ball in the zone. And both have walked just one. So, here we go. We got Ronald Acuna stepping in the batter's <laughs> box for the Braves. People wondering, could Garrett Crochet back up his opening day performance and man... Garrett Crochet back out there for the White Sox. Here he is pitching Slider in the there for strike one. The best lineup in base. I mean, this is a Braves lineup. Came in averaging almost nine runs. Crochet fires, swung on and missed. Strike two, another slider. Oh. Give me one second, guys, with the sound. I gotta. I know I, it was just a little off, but I'm OCD about that. Outside ball one. So you guys are not gonna miss it. They're commenting. So one and two to count to Ronald Lacuna Jr. Crochet fires. Part of the zone, but Steve, to your point, just upstairs. So two and two to right. count. No, he has an, and that did catch the upper part of the zone, but did not get the call. So Crochet back. Crochet. Two, two. Throws him inside. Crochet. Three. Fires. Strike three. Strike three. Inside Here's corner. Got to call. Out, out number one. You got one of baseball's best. At seven strikeouts for Garrett Crochet. On the inside corner. Acuna has not Just looked good at all location. this season. Nope. I wonder if it's because he played in the, the Venezuelan yeah, League exactly. during the offseason. And I'm sure after tonight, there's going to be some fantasy baseball owners scouting. Garrett Crochet the fires to Ozzy Albee. Gets the call Garrett for strike one on the outside well, corner. As we know, a lot of people picked him up late when he became a starting pitcher. And right now, he has the all-time franchise. Garrett Crochet fires. Strikeouts Swing in and a miss. Starts. Ozzy Albee in the hole 0-2. Oh I mean, the Tigers are not an offensive juggernaut. However, the Braves are. And he's doing it against a really good baseball team here. So Crochet fires down in the dirt. Ball one. And in this cold weather, Crochet has made sure to make sure he finds a quick pace, a quick rhythm. So Crochet fires. 
Uh, way outside, ball two. So two and two to count to Ozzie Albies. I think when you and I talked to Pedro about any restrictions on Garrett with this, his second start with just four days rest, and I say just because it's a second start. So two and two career. to count, one out, top of the sixth. We Crochet to fires. That just lobbed out there. Shoemake no. makes the play on the ground ball to first. Out out number two. NBC Sports Chicago .com, presented by Nationwide Agent oh. Get to enjoy knowing the book as much as you do oh. the jingle. On oh, Austin Riley. .com because Nationwide is on your side. Is he getting better? This is good. I think it's the cold. I'm just trying to keep up with you. No, I think it's pretty Riley good. in the battered box for the Braves. First pitch swinging. Oh, for two tonight. Him out to right he field. pops it up on the first pitch. And the right to field. shallow Fletcher right field. Fletcher. Fletcher makes the play for seven. out number three. We go to the bottom of the six. Still no score, guys. Wow. This is pitiful. We, uh, we get it. It's the weather. We know it. Oh, yeah. Everybody knows it. I mean, it's freaking flipping cold. It's Feels like thirty something degrees outside. I know I sure as hell wouldn't be batting. It is thirty like something that. degrees for me. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I know when it's cold like that. When well, down here in Georgia, a few months ago, I was out there working in eight, uh, I think twenty, twenty one or twenty two degree wind chill. The only thing I had on was a nothing but a t shirt and my double layer jacket, and I mean, my. My chest area stayed warm, but my toe, my legs and toes and fingers were numb, like literally numb. Damn. I couldn't feel them. So I, I know what these players are going through. When it's cold like that, I mean, you've got to stay warm. Hypothermia sets in very, very quickly. If you're not careful, it can bite you. <clears throat> So remember, guys, if you're new to the stream, smash that like button, guys. Oh, man. Man, my eyes are it's stretchy tonight. Come on, commercial break. Yeah, long commercial break, too. Well, it seems that way, so I was wondering if maybe I had it messed up. And... No, it's still, it's still on a commercial well, break. What are you on? I am on the webcast away. And we break down Ronaldo Lopez. He's had really good stuff. That four seamer has been a lot All right, so He's now they the just turn back into Ronaldo strike, Lopez on the mound. That was to Gavin Sheets and all things considered. Lopez has been very good. We got it's Andrew Bend at the top of the order for the White Sox. An infield hit. We talked about earlier. I mean, they're Benatendi bunts. He was back lays down a beauty he was back on for an infield single. A gift base hit. You see where he is. All you got to do is make sure it stays on the grass. He was able to get a base hit. That is the go ahead run. That's the only run that's aboard. That's the experience by Benatendi yeah. playing in his 901st. Well, there you have it. Uh, so laid off single for the, the Chicago White, White Sox. So Makata. Well, that's also going to mean that every advanced scout, everybody oh, looking at this out game that behind the home plate, responsible for game planning the Sox, they're going to put that in their report, and it's going to bring the third baseman in for most teams for a while now. So oh, Renato Lopez comes set, I mean, look, if fires to you, outside ball it? one. <clears throat> So Manacana in four straight games. Mana, Manacana for two today. Manacana, yeah. Today. As they check on Benintendi at first. So this is third time through the lineup. Ronaldo's been very pick off good. play at first. But now they know exactly. Benintendi the gets back moves. in there safe. They know about the slider and the curve, the fact that he's had some problems getting it over the plate. They're probably up there just looking <clears throat> fastball. So Lopez. Ronaldo fires. That's something he wasn't Ooh, able to do upstairs. Bat, so Two and oh. Nobody out here to start. No action in the Braves bullpen. Yeah. 
Swung on and thought out of play. That's going to be strike one. Got Luis Robert Jr. on deck. As the White Sox are trying to string together an inning here to get on the board. Uh, we got oh. zero viewers. Two, wow, Ronaldo comes set. Fire. He was downstairs. Ball three. Out of the zone. three and one. Odds Come on, Lopez. Spin, don't swing at it because he's hit about one or two all night. Three and one. More times than normal, it's going to be out of the zone. 70th pitch from Lopez, and that's ball four. So Fires two reach outside corner. Does not get the call. Ball four. To see country music artist so Davis perform a post -game runner on first and second. Nobody out. Bottom to six. White Sox take on the Rockies at six o'clock. Don't miss your chance for an up close on field experience. An exclusive. They're going to get some action warming up in the bullpen. With limited availability. Now to buy field passes, visit whitesox.com slash concert. Luis Robert Jr. up to bat for the Chicago White Sox. The question for Brian Snitker. I am called by Trump behind home plate. Who is making his first start of the year? Who is not normally a starting pitcher? So Renato Lopez fires. What's going on. Is starting to work for the Braves. Into the seats down the right field line. Strike one. Aaron Bummer. So we got Lopez, the former White Sox, on the mound, and Aaron Bummer, the former White Sox, getting warmed up. So Renato Lopez comes set to oh, Robert Jr. Uh, Fires. Back at the track. Out to Harris. Harris on the track. As for out Tag number for one. Second is Benintendi. So with one out, the Sox will have runners on at first and third. Runners on first yep. and third. On a normal night without the wind howling in, and it being a little warmer than this that's a home run by plenty but this time it stays in the ballpark welcome in laney welcome hey, in Lane. gavin sheets is looking for his first hit of the season and this would be a big opportunity well this also is when ben Intendi has to get a good secondary lead because lopez has been trying to throw curveballs to sheets so we got Gavin yeah, Sheets up to bat. He kept it in the air. So she grounds it foul. Something it's something that a base runner has got to think about. Now we've also seen this similar oh, yeah, situation yeah. with one out. Yep. First and third, Nicky Lopez went and attempted to steal yep. second, was thrown out, but Shoemake was on third and was able to come home. He asked for the help, so we've seen the White Sox be aggressive. He must have obliged. So Renato Lopez to Gavin oh, Sheets yeah. comes set. Fires. That's in there with a fastball. Okay. In there for strike two. Good pitch. Well, you're Gavin, 95 mile an hour you're fastball. About making some sort of contact. You She's down in the count. 0-2. Oh I know, right? 0-2 oh to count. Setting up inside with this 0-2 pitch. In on the hands. Will it get down? Blooped out to right. In on and the hands. Sheets delivers. Damn. Ben it drops scores. in. And the White so Sox the Chicago take White Sox take the lead. lead, just like that. For Sheets, his oh. first hit of the season, and it's an RBI. First hit, first run driven in. He got an inside fastball and got just enough of it as he pulled his hands in, just enough to muscle it into right center field. And so the leadoff bunt comes back to haunt the Braves. The Sox have a one to nothing lead. Damn. And now we'll take a look at Rick Kranitz as he goes to the mound. So Rick Kranitz coming out. Rick has got to be out there to allow. Oh, we Rick got Aaron to Bummer, it just started to Mr. Booger up, himself. So they're going to leave him in for the moment. Mr. Booger. But you'd have to figure if he doesn't get by Vaughn. Mr. And Booger coming up. Well last and time warming up in the bullpen. I know. So am I there. I mean. So Bummer is ready probably to face Shoemake if it gets to that. And if Aaron does come in, very good chance that he faces DeYoung. But first things first, got to see the resolution of this at bat. 
Still just one out here in this bottom. Over Nala Lopez comes set. And a good scoop behind the plate by Trump. Fires. Ball, one. Ball in the I dirt. Ball one. A pitcher who hasn't started many games of recent vintage starting to get a little fatigued as we head into the sixth inning here, even though he's only at 76 pitches. Well hit down the line. Over Nala Lopez comes set. Foul. Fires. That was a hit at a ton. Foul. This becomes a very big at bat for Andrew Vaughn because you got a one to nothing lead against a team that's still got a lot of thunder in this lineup. You'd like to get a little more insurance here and you have the opportunity to do it. Over oh, Ronaldo Lopez comes one set. Ball, one strike to count. Fires. Swung on and thought out of play. Two strike two. How your approach at the plate change now? The one and two to count to Andrew nice Vaughn. In this situation because he doesn't mind taking the ball to right and right center field or taking it right back up the middle. That's what you want to do. You just want to make sure you don't overswing. And yeah, Laney said, uh, you need to drink some uh, caffeine there, brother. Mm -hmm. Just protecting because that ball was on the plate, but not fire the swung ball on ball and found out of play. We'll it do it again. One and two to count. <laughs> the hands of Tom Hanahan. I know yeah. I'm dozing off here. Well, it's okay. It's I'll. First run of the game I, I, the that's six. why I'm here, They're everybody. Just one out. So. That slider stays upstairs. I hear you there, there Laney. <laughs> upstairs, ball two. That's what we've seen all night. Yeah, Lane, I went to the doctor today and from Lopez didn't find out. I was hoping yeah, I mean, it was going to be better news than it was. This cold because you're not getting the and I now got to go see four different specialists. Now the Lopez fires. One on grounder. Right to Ozzy. Four, six, three, double play. Braves get out of the inning. Damage is given. Yep, damage is done. Uh, White Sox lead it one nothing. I appreciate and we appreciate it there, Laney. We definitely do. And yes, I did. By the way, Laney, I did get your message. I did respond back to you. Um, hopefully everything turned out well with your mom last night. Uh, we, I totally understand. I totally get it. I truly understand. Hey, real life comes first. Um, so, uh, like I said, I probably won't. I won't probably do another stream until towards the weekend, unless I feel like just bringing a stream like I did last night off the wall. So I'll have to look at the schedule and see what some of the other games are going on. I might do another stream. I don't know yet. It just, I got to see how I feel after I get off work, if I've had a long day at work or whatnot. So just stay tuned to the channel. Uh, you'll see me, um, you know, post up a stream if I do decide to do a stream or or even better way go to the community page I'll also put it in there as well oh yeah I appreciate it Laney hey uh, we completely understand you don't always have to do it each and every single time but it's definitely appreciated and we want to thank you uh, oh, you, you've meant a lot to us sure I mean you've you've you went above and beyond our expectations with uh, seven to both of our channels and then having both our memberships as well on both of our channels and you sending us super chats and all the the thanks and the, the thoughtful uh, in the chat. Uh, the More than a lot of other people have done. With just two hits. Yep. Seven and, and like I said, but Seven everybody that comes in here, Kenneth, D, right the the uh, you, the Gene, Everybody, it's it's Four, very five, thoughtful. So for it is, I and greatly appreciate it. Comes out here to start just, the no, just not yet. Guys, there, Laney. Just having you guys popping in. He is, wanted to come out for the awesome seven, but team. manager Pedro Grafal said, "Yep, your first um, negatory there, long. Laney." But Crochet was uh, ready to go batter for batter. If they he's a little bit closer to than I am. Hand, a little piece of the outside um, didn't get the call right now. Hand, but it was a good on me. I'm I'm at. Seventy-six dollars and forty-six cents. So I'm not Swinging a miss by that Adam far away from it. Too. I'm like twenty-five dollars, but you got to remember, um, YouTube does take seventy percent. So, so whatever you send, take take that off right off the top. So, um, 
I don't know where my buddy is at on his. I don't know. So just a touch. I don't know. Oh, okay. Corner, but he did have a piece. Mr. Maverick. Yes, sir. Uh, is there a chance you could go post up the link over here? Um, I would, guys, but my computer's acting up, and when I open up new browsers, I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the sound starts crackling, Wilson, for one tonight. and yeah. it, it starts chirping a little bit, and I don't Set want the stream to go down. So, uh, okay. Matthew was saying that uh, CeeLo wanted a link to the, the channel because he wanted to come over and do a raid. Really good slider. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you could post that over there, I'd appreciate it. I oh, yeah. well, I'm doing so it right, right now. To, I might be able to go on my phone. Dot at the back. That my phone's not on this internet. And he strikes him out. Ozuna lifts this one deep into left. Deep, deep, back, deep. back, go! Bang! Go! There you go! Go on! There you go, Bones! Big Bear with a big fly! Big Bear with a big fly! Come through again! What a piece! Thank you. That Last game is tied. Ball of the game, and that was a line yes, sir. To left field. Braves tied the up. Bung the bung and this time he with a bung bung run. The with a home run. Yes, sir. Replay. I think the raid's incoming. And it goes down and in. Think the raid might far be and incoming. Ozuna, who's strong, Alrighty. takes the ball off the end of the bat. So momentarily, I did I did post the the link in the chat. So hopefully he's seen it. So back to work for Crochet. Starts off Duvall with a fastball inside. Ball one. So we got a brand new ball game. And we now have activity well, thank you, lady. in the White Sox bullpen. Looks like it's Brevia. You guys bring the best out of us. I'm pretty close Dude. to hitting that, hitting that 100 lane. I think I'm at, at after your $10 super chat. That still hasn't, it still hasn't. Oh, 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 foul ball. Doobie. Uh, after your $10, no. I, I should be around $79 and some odd cents. So I figured it up. One $30 donation would put me over or three ten dollar. So pretty, and it's just, it's just how YouTube takes the money. Didn't miss by much inside off the plate. I'd already be there if uh, if old Apple Apple Pay when they took took a big cut of that hundred dollar one that I got. The ball one for two today. The single is last. They took back. exactly what I what I would have needed. This one foul to the right side into the seats. Tonight's game is brought to you by the Comet Energy. But it's really good to program. see that we are that close. I mean, thank you to everybody that has helped that that process along. You guys are amazing. Learn more at comet.com it, slash it, it makes a big difference. It means a lot. All right, there we go. Yeah, Sheila told me to repost it again. I just went ahead and did it. I'm not spamming his, his channel, but he told me to repost it again. Do me the other way. Track. Going, going. Oh, it gets the wall. Oh. Yep. Two out. This is part of the learning process Damn. of Garrett Crochet. <laughs> that was specific. almost a, ca a carbon copy of the 2021 World the Series Grand Slammy hit at true This is heart. also coming back to more pitches. Boy, that place was electric back the then. So that was, ooh. Trying to figure out exactly <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Welcome to the stream. Just a little fatigue, I know some of y'all were over there at CeeLo's channel. He told me to go ahead and post uh, plans uh, link in the in the in his chat so yes i am mad for maverick sports i'm i'm in the top window he's in the bottom window down there so yep. so we're here what's up everybody we're here we're we're plugging away at this thing so but yeah welcome in so, everybody i'm so happy that by next see for what how long Oh, since 2017 or 18. Yeah. Oh, see that? It, it, I know it's been a good minute. Disconnect. Oh, so do I there, Lanny. Dewey, Dewey's off. 
I was a happy man. I was hoping they they relanded Eddie, but when Eddie decided to go ahead and take a four million dollar deal with the Washington Nationals, but when the Braves didn't exercise his club option of nine million, but offered him five million dollars, and he did take it, wanted to go to a free agency, and nobody wanted to pick him up, so he settled for four million. He should have took the five million when the Braves were offering it to him. He could have stayed a Bra- in a Braves uniform, but. Obviously, that did not happen, which sucks. I do miss Eddie Rosario. We all do. The World Series hero for the Braves at Truist Park. We all remember that. So, but that, but like they say, baseball is a business. So, you can't really get attached to any other player. But the Braves do have most of their players locked in. So. And that is the Sox run. AJ. A lot of good feelings and, and highs, highs last season. The for the White Sox. Yep. He was he clutch how many times of, for the Braves? Yes, he did. Six, and hit that eight, home run in the, I think it was the NLCS. Or the, NL, I think it was either the NLDS or the NLCS against the Dodgers at Truist Park. That was awesome. I tell you, my cam was causing some of the issues. Permitted, 70 appearances. He was mm. a busy guy at 21 holes. And he sent that place rocking. Strikeouts and innings pitch and very few I mean, true. Park, Park was rocking that night. I never forget it. Mentor comes go. set. Paul DeYoung. That's high gone. High and deep to left field. That's DeYoung, gone. A pitch hit solo home AJ Mentor comes in, throws two pitches, and he gets homered on. Yep. Damn, man. Just Come like on, that. boys. Didn't see the tie game too long. Just Paul like that. Comes off the bench on a very cold night and gets one. White Sox retake the lead. We've seen the ball held up to right and right center field, but the wind will take it out to left. We saw it on Ozuna's ball. We see it on DeYoung's ball. And that one went over yeah. the open into the It's stage. unfortunate, Lanny. So White Sox retake the lead. Oh, appreciate it. That's why they brought him in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, you're thank absolutely you. welcome, CeeLo. Hey, thanks for the message, D. I appreciate that. Yeah, definitely. Hey, John, how you doing? You no, know, if I know what he's asking, I'm more than happy to help. Yeah. Comes the Raiders. Oh, in the ballpark again. I like yep. this. Best way to endear yourself to a brand new team is come off the bench and do something heroic like that. You know, really, that that is what the Chicago White Sox needed, though. You know, yeah. the, Bra- the Braves were starting to pick up, starting to pick up some. Momentum Yo, there. One ball, two strike. The count. Hey, you're you're very welcome. You're very welcome, CeeLo. Anytime, man. Missing off the edge, two two. Like like Keep I typed to you this morning. You know, you got a question about anything? Uh, if I if I know how to do it, just say, you know, I'm more than happy to help. Yeah. I I thought everybody liked that like that interact. That interact was really nice. And they've actually the stability of it has really improved Bar since last the season. Bench, battling. Running this yep. count to three two. I, it's funny that they still say it's in beta, but yeah, it's it's really nice. It's like but watching the game. Come off the bench on a cold night yep. and just pinch hit. Well, there are cages. Most definitely. The they can All right, so we got to hopefully I'll get mine done to before get ready too long. For this appearance. Three two. The mentor comes set. Three to two. To I didn't to look in. Let's go back to that home run. Oh, was he chirping at the ump about the strikes? Yeah. It looked like a cutter up in the zone. It's our fourth home run replay. It puts the Sox on top. Minter makes a mistake, and the young makes him pay for it. Yeah, he did. <laughs> Damn. That should be shallow out to left field. Should be underneath from Duvall. Yeah, there's two down. Caught. That's going to be out number two. Yeah, Doobie catches that ball. 
<laughs> I know. Gene's been <laughs> cracking jokes all night. After the Braves tied it up with a solo home Gene's run been cracking jokes all inning. night there, D. DeYoung retakes the lead with a solo shot of his own. Two to one, White Sox. I would definitely do appreciate it. Thank you. First win of the season. <laughs> yeah. Fastball outside, ball one to Maldonado. Martin's not going to hit for a high average, but he will hit the ball out of the ballpark. And here's a situation where he's at least thinking about it. Down in the dirt, so that'll be ball two. Two and O's the count. We got two outs, bottom of the seventh. The Sox have just taken the one lead, the game, two to one over the Atlanta Braves. Maldonado going out to yep. the mound to talk to his young pitcher Crochet early in the game to get out of a jam. Martin thought that was a little wide. The outside corner uh, that, strike that, one. Finally, that could have went either way. I felt it caught yep. it, and even that shows that just the, the splitter of the ball caught the zone. Yep. But hey, you know. As long as the up is consistent across the board for both teams, I'll live with a yeah. call like that. Yeah. Two outs. Martin is looking to turn this lineup over for the Sox. Come on, Minter. Come on, Minter. Popped up. Foul ball. Catcher trying to get underneath it. Oh, it's in the seats. So that's going to be a full boat, guys. What's up, Jacob? Welcome to Welcome the in, screen. Jacob. Welcome to the chat. Andrew Benintendi on deck. Last time up had that bunt single. And oh, look at there. My heart. Yeah, the heart's going wild. Going to be a little closer smiley faces. Yep. What are the, I don't, I've never understood that. I don't either. Does it always go I'm off still like learning that? them, too. Uh, oh, yeah. Two outs. I guess. Chop. The 3 2 oh. pitch from Minter. I didn't know my cam cover was on. Mm. Oh, right back to AJ Minter. Fires over to first for out number three. Retakes the lead for the White Sox. Homer by Paul Dijon puts the White Sox back to the lead. Finger. See that? Yeah. See that? I'm giving you the finger, White Sox. Yeah. How dare they? <laughs> Come on, Bravos. Come on, Bravos. We can do it. We can come back. We still got a little bit of time left, so. That's what I We appreciate seeing. it, John. Yeah, you too, John. We, we definitely yeah. do appreciate it, John. Definitely. Well, let's see here. How'd we do on that 20 like goal? Oh, we're sitting almost, almost. We need three more likes to hit our three goal for the night. Jacob F. says, I'm your biggest fan, Clan. Well, thank you. <laughs> hey, you know what? I'm Mav's biggest fan. Yeah. Watch the dancing emoji, everybody. <laughs> yeah. I'm Mav's biggest fan. And we know how how Cielo likes to do his uh, <laughs> his his dance in the chat. Mm -hmm. yeah. Y'all, y'all. Welcome in, Tim. Welcome in, brother. Welcome in. Yeah, we definitely do appreciate it. Congratulations, buddy. You're up to 813 subs so far, bud. I appreciate it, everybody. Welcome. Thank you for the sub there, Tim. Now, and thank you, everybody else that sub that you evidently have your uh, your YouTube hidden to the public. That's why it didn't come across. So thank you, everybody. Yep. And also, more importantly, guys, if you if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, hey Tim, I mean, John, 
Jacob. I'm sorry, go ahead. There's my channel. There is my channel, guys, if you haven't already subscribed. Um, you guys can sub to my channel as well. And I know a lot of y'all are over there at CeeLo's ch uh, channel all the time. So. And you guys see me over there as well. When you guys see me over there, I need, I either go under Maverick Sports or I go under Maverick Gaming. Um, so, but um, both channels are me. So. No, really? Yeah. He sure it ain't your doppelganger. He was no, it's he not was my doppelganger. <laughs> I promise you. I promise you, I'm not at no doppelganger there. So one and two in the count. On so, Amanda so you Arcea. like my dancing emoji there, lady? Because I'm Mad's number one friend, or number one fan. Yep. yep. <laughs> Last Diaz said did not go around that time either. Two two. <laughs> Thank you very much, Tim. Yes, sir. Off the end. Uh, come on, come on. Get it down, get it down. Oh, he couldn't leg it out. It look easy. You want Moncada. One down. That's not an easy throw either. No, that wasn't an easy throw at all. Off balance throw. Gets it there. Oh, we got the Kelnick Warrior coming up the bat for Atlanta. Key hitter. Come on, Kelnick. The leadoff hitter of the inning. That's right. Retire because. Kelnick the other night, we call it, we call him the Kelnick Warrior, last of the home run, and it was like, Eddie who? Kelnick, that game had a home run, had a diving, an amazing diving catch, almost had two diving catches that were amazing that game, just barely missed the other one. I mean, it was in the tip of his glove and rolled out. Yesterday. Now coming off the bench with the righty Brevia. And it's 3 0. The Brevia outside, ball three to the Kelnick Warrior. Good eye. He's got a good eye for that ball right now. Yep. Oh. I'm not sure if that would have been a ball. I don't know. That's kind of an interesting but That was fouled out of play. So three and one to count to one the Kelnick Warrior. Left. Kelnick, Brevia looks in and gets the sign, comes set, fires. Ball four. Inside, ball four. And yes, sir. See that? I, think that? I think they're waiting for the up to call him out, but Unk says no. So check out Marquette Bank at emarquettebank.com. Marquette Bank. We'll take it. <laughs> yes, I am a UGA fan there, John. Yes, sir. You got Acuna Jr. And if, you, on, and if you don't get yes, him to sir. Into a double play, all day, every out. day, baby. The Brivia comes set, fires to Ronald Acuna outside, ball one. And before this one gets away, Martinez going out there, and Paul DeYoung wants to get an idea of how they're going yeah, to right, we'll take that walk. Because it's going to make a determination puts a, where he puts a tie and run on first for us. So. Off speed pitches, you're going to play him more to pull, and then you're thinking about. Who's going to cover at second base? The well, I've got my hat right here, there, John. The man covering at second. There's my hat right there. Pits. Normally, I wear the shirt too, but I figured I'd put the Braves hat on tonight. So, yes, I am a UGA Bulldog fan. The one out of Acuna. Oh, big hack. Ooh, did you hear how that sounded off his bat? That sounded yeah. like a that sounded like a metal bat hitting it. Yeah. Fastball on the inner portion. I mean, didn't he it? Left nothing to the imagination. He yeah, it, it sure sounded like it. That sounds like you're watching T-ball, man. You hear the ting. Yeah. You hit the ball. So the Braves fans started chanting MVP for Acuna Jr. So the pickoff attempt at first. Uh, Kelnick safe. Yep. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> The Braves fans in attendance are yeah, chanting Braves, <laughs> chanting, and then the White Sox fans are booing. So it's the battle of the battle of the fans in the stands. Let's see if we let's see if we see any drunkards get into a fight. Yeah, they're saying MVP, MVP, and the, and the sucker, Chicago White Sox fans are booing. 
<laughs> Trudy's going to have to turn his game up, up and out of the better than he's yeah. been playing these last four games. Now the fifth game so could sure be Martin even has remotely close to MVP. Yeah, exactly. I mean, he's got no home runs, and I think he's got one RBI on on the season. Has one, two. So one and two to count to Ronald Acuna. He went up and out of the zone, but upstairs ball two. Acuna decided to check it up. Backed him off the plate with the fastball. Brevia fires inside ball Ooh, three. Ball. Official attendance yep. tonight. I'll get that soundboard real quick. 12,390 some fans made it out to the ballpark tonight for the yet. Chicago White Sox. Rebia checks over. I mean, this is I'll tell you what, man. Very well played on both and sides. I, and I know my Very son well watched I'd like to give a shout out to my good friend KGB over there at the C Sports Network. Battle here at the hey. Three, Thank what you, Mr. Mr. President. Oh, he going. got him. Kelnick tried to steal. No, I think I think he called I think I think he called I think he missed the call and called it ball four when Martin got it. Was a strike he called so it a ball at home plate. No, I think Look, he called it a ball at home plate. One, and one of the reasons why I think maybe Martin got up. Let's watch it again. No call. That one has oh, that's no one that it's a definitely could have been a strike. He's thrown out at second base. It's not going to count because Hanahan called it ball four. Oh, so the throw out's not even going to count either. Maldonado makes a nope. really good throw to second. Oh, he was safe though. And so what Pedro wants to yeah. do is Pedro wants to wait out. He was there. safe I anyways. He wants to wait out there until he forces Tom Hanahan to come out, and he wants to have a brief conversation with him. Ask him about that pitch. Hey, the ump called it a ball. From the guys behind Not the going back and changing that shit. Well, Pedro does want to have nope. this conversation, and he was determined to have it. Hey, they they shouldn't be talking. Strikes yeah. and balls. Throw his ass out. Call. I mean, that's out of the inning. Yeah. The inning's over right there. It was a strikeout. Yep. Throw him out. Let's go to the bottom of the eighth. Instead, it's runners on at first and second. Oh, we got a pitch out. and change. And then now they're going to make a call to the bullpen. No. That, they're, they got a, a reliever warming change. up in the bullpen. And as he comes oh, in, it is a pitch said. and change. Okay. Game on the line. Thank you. Oh, I see what they did. <laughs> I see what they did. They wanted uh they wanted um uh the reliever warming up for the White Sox to get a little extra warmth on his arm. It could have been. So that's why the coach coach went out there and tried to argue with the home plate umpire. The home plate umpire wasn't having no part of it. He said, All right, if you're gonna bring in your pitcher, bring in your pitcher. Let's go. I'm not calling it. So Acuna goes down to first. Uh Kelnick was Safe at the second, so Kelnick moves to second, and there's only one out. And when the top of the eighth, I still think hit, he was safe, hit. though. I really think he yeah. was safe. Um, yeah. if if they would have got and and that's one of the most terrible thing about baseball is the angles. You know, it's not like football and basketball and you know MMA fighting and stuff like that. How they have all these great angles. That you could see something when it comes to replay. Baseball just to me are one of the sports that have the shittiest replay system. They'll they'll yeah. show you one angle that you can't definitively see, but if they had another angle, you probably could. But yet they can't provide yep. that to you. And well, we're talking a multi-billion-dollar uh, organization a year, and they can't yep. they can't get better camera systems. Evidently, well. Uh, just some recent news just happened on Sealer's channel. He just hit another milestone. He just hit 11,000 11, subscribers. 11,000. All right. Congratulations, CeeLo. 
Congratulations, buddy. Hey, Mini Me's gonna dance to that. Woo! All right. Congratulations, yes, CeeLo. Congratulations. 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 We appreciate it, John. There you go, guys. Yes, sir. Who Maverick was just talking about. On the go with CeeLo. That's youtube.com slash at on the go with CeeLo. One run lead here in the eighth. We asked Pedro before the game if Michael Kopech was available. He said, yep, I'm going to use him for a high leverage situation. Doesn't yeah, congratulations there, CeeLo. I know he's worked hard to get back to where he was at. So All these popped up. All these pops it up. Out of play. play. I was trying to come back. Just couldn't come back far enough. Come on, Albies, put it over the wall. Let Let's just yeah. end this. Let's end Here's this. Crochet put it over the wall. Performance. Let's just end it. Put it over the wall. And Take like the series two games to none. Very <laughs> let's go. Right now. Come on now. Let's Let's go, boys. Let's go. Well, you can tell Michael Kopech is juiced up. Ninety-nine back to back coming out of the bullpen. Here's his 1 1. Woo! That's a hundred. That's a hundo. 100 mile an hour. Hundo, baby. Hundo. Now that has not been called. Hum, baby. Hum, baby. Hum, diddy. Hum, diddy. Hum, diddy. He's had back to back 99s and then he just threw a 100 mile an hour force. Yeah. A 99. So you know, 99, 99, 100 mile an hour, and again, it has I, an extra I, light this dude is feet to heat. Plate. Explain what he meant by that. He's throwing heat. I will in a moment. Giving the Two heat to Ricky. Go pick fires. Upstairs, light. ball three. Full ball, baby. But it doesn't have that last little giddy up that takes it off the sweet spot of the bat. Michael seems to have that now. This becomes a very big pitch for him. Come on, baby. Come on. Come on. Hum diddy, hum diddy, hum diddy. Go, go pick the fires. Upstairs. This is juice, baby. This is juice. Who we got coming? Is that Matteo? Let's go. That Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Come on, Riley. Austin Riley. He is a dangerous hitter. He had a three-run home run last wow. night to put this game out of reach. Come on, Come on Riley. Riley. I would love to see him put a put a grand slam over. Well, if you can get Come on, get the granddaddy of a ball, baby. Come on. Number one, make sure you can turn a pair. Come on, baby. Oh, round ball. Third. Oh, they got him. Third. Oh. The White Sox get out of the jail. Michael Kopech getting it done. <coughs> Damn. Just a great inning to get out of. Michael Kopech. Damn. With a big walk and then turns it into a double play. All right, I won't bring out the Dixie Horn no more. Great play by Moncada. He realized it was hard. I thought we would get one there. <laughs> And Michael Kopech and the Damn. Sox. Whose birthday did I, I miss? Get that. Who did I miss saying that it's their birthday? Huh. Was it was it CeeLo's birthday? I don't know. Lady said something about oh, no. birthday. Hmm. Never knew. Well, damn, that sucks. I thought we would actually score a run, at least tie it up. Oh, I know it, man. Damn. Hmm. A big glass I of think, water. I think it might be Austin Riley's birthday. I think so. I'm, I'm oh, have to Riley's real birthday. Quick. Okay, yeah. Uh, yeah, that, yeah, I that think so. Be. Let me check real quick. I'll be able to check. Yep, 
It is today. Happy birthday, Austin Riley. Yep. Very cool. It is his birthday. Thanks for the update there, uh, Laney. I, I completely forgot. It would have been nice for him to hit a, gra a Grammy on his birthday. That would have been nice. Yep. The granddaddy of a ball. That would have been real nice. With White Sox checking and an official White Sox debit card. I might have to look at the radar on my end, too. Community bank. Go to wintrust.com slash White Sox. I uh, got a leading edge coming in this way. It's just over the Alabama line. So here's Johnson comes at the ball game last season. Uh, Pretty I got to watch John that. says the rain got us off. Okay. Not quite sure what the rest of that conversation is. Top of the lineup for the White Sox here in this bottom of the eighth <laughs> as Travis Darno will hey. the catch for the Braves. Would be awfully nice to score an insurance run here. You got the top of the order to try to get it done. That bunt single last time up for Benintendi. This time pulls it to the right side. Olsen steps on the bag. One That's going to be a ground ball the straight over to Olsen, who runs up to the bag. To attack him out. The season out number one. Dogs taste better. All right, guys. Uh, just just looking at the... The X Airwaves uh, just got handed down as of five minutes ago. Phil Bickford goes to the Yankees on a minor league deal uh, with a incentive to the major league roster for 1.1 man. shoots this to the left side. It gets foul. Congratulations. Phil Bickford used to pitch for the Dodgers. Just to uh, give you an FYI, everyone. And that moved Ben Intende to second, where he moved to third on a sacrifice fly and then scored on Gary Oh, Sheets. wow. First Remember, well, everybody, get your chat Jason votes in. Chat Luke votes are going to be coming Moncada coming down here at the end of the eighth. 2016 in Triple-A Charlotte said, the way... Moncada is moving. It's like when he was coming up. Uh, I'm from that Northern that Iowa. Obviously, yeah, he's a little older, but he's got that determination, that look in his eye, that he worked on his legs in the off season to have that little extra coming out. Of well, the as of 45 minutes ago, Moncada Bryce well, Harper like, just hit a grand slam issues, you really have to work against uh, well because the Cincinnati Reds. Parcel of the same thing. The core has got to be as strong as possible for Moncada mm, to put together mm, mm, the mm. kind of year that we know he can do if he stays healthy. Come on, PJs. Mr. PJs. Come on, Mr. PJs. He's also, you know, you know when the hitters dirt. seeing the ball well when he ball lays off pitches like that consistently. And Moncada's done that. I'm from I mean, Georgia there, John. I the just live inning. south of Atlanta. That is the My buddy here, he's, he's from uh, Iowa. Johnson's pitch, the two, P. two. Come on, Mr. PJs. With the curveball, two outs. Swung on and missed. Want to see. Strike three, two out. So Luis Robert Jr. just missed a home run his last time out. It was a deep shot to center. You said because of the temperature, it is yeah. cold. On another night, the wind was blowing in. We've seen it blow in from center. Right and right center field. Okay, sweet, sweet. To left, if you can hit the nice. You're the only about an hour and something away from me there, uh, John. Starts him out with a curveball for strike one. Swung on and miss. Strike one to Robert Jr. I'm just south of Atlanta by 20, 25 minutes. <laughs> this one is laced to left center. And it will Robert Jr. swung on and hit in the gap. That gets down and hits the wall. It's going to be a stand-up double. Uh, a two-out double. We just can't seem to get out of this. Nope. This is a curve. Well, we need to be stopping them now. We like the first one, which was a good one. This one just kind of spun nope. and hung right there. Luis rifles it into left center field. One hop against the wind trust sign. And there is the all-important insurance run. If Gavin Sheets can come through with yet another run batted in. For Robert Jr., that breaks the 0 for 12 streak at the plate. And Gavin Sheets trying to put on that insurance run here in the eighth. Gavin Sheets up to bat for the Chicago White Sox. Downstairs, ball one. Two 
two outs. That's right, Laney. I'm the fat checker. <laughs> you say you're the fat checker? Upstairs, count is even at one yep, the, the fat checker. That's correct. So one and one to count to Gavin Sheets. PJ's fires. Down and in, ball two. So two and one to count. Come on, PJs. For sheets, it was Mr. PJs. An RBI single in the sixth. Come on. Made it one to nothing. Come on, Mr. PJs. Braves tied it in the seventh with a home run by Ozuna. And then DeYoung gave us the two to one lead with a solo home run. That was a hittable pitch because Gavin, unlike a lot of left-handers, long out, and fat out of play. That is strike two. So two and two to count. Gavin probably likes his fastball down there also, but he can hit a high fastball. Robert on at second with two outs. PGA's come set. The stop the Fires. Ball, ball in the dirt. Ball three. So. Come on now. Come on, PJs. Trying to stay loose. Strike this dude out. out. It's a cold night tonight. Payoff pitch. Three two count. Fires. Foul ball. Sheets notes he's getting this opportunity because Welcome the back there, Laney. Is dealing with that left adductor. He is day to day. So for Sheets, his second consecutive start. Can he come through here in the eighth? Well, PJ's come set. Three, two to count. Two outs. Runner on second. And ball four. PJ's fires. <laughs> Down in the dirt. Here ball in four. Experience all inclusive food and beverage options. Oh. In seat service and complimentary parking in our premium seating areas. Plans come on. We need to get out of this. Visit WhiteSox.com. Come on. You can call or text 312 so a pitching mound visit by Chadwick Good Trump. Good for Gavin Sheets, getting an opportunity to get in the lineup tonight. He's driven in a run. He's been on base three times with a couple of walks in that single. So all things considered, a good solid evening of baseball for Gavin. So Andrew Vaughn up to bat for the Chicago White Sox, who's 0 for 3 tonight. Yeah, last time PJ's I, fired way outside ball one. Come on, PJ, what are you doing? Right on the nose. What are you doing? Are you setting him up? Unfortunately, Arcia was standing right there and turned it into a 6 4 3. Come on now. Give us a pitch. PJ's comes set. Curveball sails outside. Fires. Same spot. Her ball way outside. Ball two. Come on, PJs. So two and zero to count. PJs fired. Will it fall? Yes. Left center. Duval drops down for a base hit. Robert Jr. scores. Runner on third. Runner on first. The nature of this very unpredictable game. Chicago takes the lead again. Three to, get again. To, Three to one. Ending double play. This time, he doesn't get a whole lot of it. Catches him right off the end of the bat. It's a curveball, a perfect pitch, only not quite good enough. He dumps it into left center field. Sox have a two-run lead, and Andrew comes in his first run of the year. Damn it! Damn it! Damn it! What did Pedro tell us before the game? Guys like Thank Andrew uh, Vaughn, runners in scoring position. Camera went down again, bud. Different zone. Yeah, I mean, I think he's going to be a yeah, big run producer before it's over. And I thought I was starting to hear Paul, kind of get a little glitchy in there. Against a very good Atlanta yeah, team. Paul DeJong up to bat for the Chicago White Sox. Here's last the, time up, he had a full home run in the seventh. He run. takes Eight, strike two, one for Mr. PJs. In on the hands, popped him up on the infield, it's charging in. PJ's fired. 
Ball is popped up on the infield. Riley takes it for out number three. All the do uh, damage already done. White Sox score another run. White Sox lead it three to one over the Atlanta Braves going to the top of the ninth, guys. Top of the ninth. We're down to our final three outs. See if the Braves can't get it done. And with the conclusion of the eighth inning, we will be pulling the chat vote down. If you haven't given your vote yet and you'd like to get that in, I'll give you another 10 seconds to go ahead and do that. Looks like we got everybody's vote that we're going to get. So let's pull that down. Thank you for everybody that participated tonight. We had 19 votes and all 100% of everyone thought the Braves are going to win. We'll see what happens. We're going to the top of the ninth. We're, we're, we're hoping for a, a comeback miracle for the Braves. Or at least an extension of, of the innings. Yeah. Or or tie it up and then go into extra innings. Now, they can't do it like in spring training where they get to the ninth inning and it's tied up. Then uh they can't they can't call it. They have to go to extra innings, so <laughs> Lenny says, give me them snacks, clan. <laughs> so Matt Olson comes up the bat for Atlanta. My damn, damn, okay. damn it's not working right tonight. Come set, fires. Here we go. Top Swung of the on, the foul. Steve Stoll, oh. John Triffin, ninety-nine. Boy, that would have been great if Matty O would have put her over. As he looks yeah. to send down the Braves and get the White Sox their first win of the season. Matt Olson, the first baseman, starts things off. Four, five, on the six, inside five, corner, five. strike two. You do that. The you do that. Corner, Uncle's going to call that. It, that He's been very, very consistent yeah. with that tonight. So. Yes, and that, that, yeah. that to me, looked like a Pedro good strike. Pedro told us at the beginning of the game that he would use Michael in a high leverage situation. Doesn't get any higher than this one. He came in with the game. Come on, Matty O. Now has an insurance run to try to nail right, it down go. here. I'm in back. The 0-2 the from Kopech. Foul ball. Staying alive is Olsen. We'll do it so again. 0-2 to count. If the Braves don't pull it out, uh, the only other chance we have at our Golden Broom being safe is... This game started if, as a pitching duel. Uh, I mean, it was a perfect game on the side. check to see how the community Lopez. voted over on the no community for page. Crochet. And then they the voted for the White Sox to win, then it's... Guys popped up the right it's center. It's going to drop. Damn, come on. Have it. Out number one. Damn it! Come on. Summer camp presented by Wintrust, starting at adult at 165 bucks. Kids ages five to Come on, Riley. I think, I think the weather's got a lot to do with it. Thirty-five locations. Yeah, the, the weather has a lot to do with it. Come on, Big Bear. Come on, Big Bear. Where are you coming up with this big bear shit? Big Bear with the big fly. Come on, Big Bear. Downstairs, ball one. Now, where'd you get that? Because you've never said it before. Oh, I get it from the announcers. Oh. <laughs> I do it. I, I get it from the announcers. The big bear with the big fly. Kopech missing inside. It's now 2-0. and oh. I'm good with Kopech calling him the bung. 2-0 to count. The bung -inator. To the bung. The bung -inator. Hit high. Hit deep. Oh, go on. Go on. Let's go. On. Let's go yes. on. Yeah. Yes. The big bear with the big fly does it again. Yes, sir. Do I smell comeback, baby? Do I smell a comeback? Let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's do it. Yeah. Yes. Would you rather see this than a walk? This challenge a guy. Take that, Ooh. White Sox! Give me the finger! Ozuna was a little too 
Come on, Doobie! 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 <laughs> she called it! See that? She called yep. it! We see the Braves are showing you how tough they are. Come the on, Doobie! Fifth starter. Yeah, this is a really good team. I mean, one and one to count. Come on, Doobie! If there's ever a right time for you end. to step up, it's now! But so far, the Sox have matched him pitch for pitch. Swing and a miss, strike two. 101 from Kopech. That was a, a hundo, 100 mile an hour heater. And Duvall will call time at the five. Come on, Doobie. <laughs> Doobie. One, two. Swing and a miss, strike three. Another Hondo four-seam fastball first upstairs. Of That's just two out. Got a little extra and threw it right by him. Well, oh, we're down to our, exactly to our last out, everybody. Miles an hour. That's his four Do not count out Michael Harris. He's been very he's hot during the spring training, but in the cold weather, just has hey, he's only one for three tonight. Intimidating pitcher on the mound. Foul the first Foul's pitch. The Foul ball. Come on, baby. Come on, Money Mike. Braves fans on their feet. White Upstairs, ball on one. Feet. It's been that kind of a ball game. <laughs> Lady, I say it's Azuna time, but Pretty it's now like Bravo game time. From start. Yeah. To at this point, the one and one to count to Michael Harris. Come on, guys. Come on, swung on and fouled out of play. Oh, strike two, man. One two to count. Oh, come on, got the party started. An outstanding performance in his second. Come on, baby. Chop, baby. Chop, 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 chop. Come on, baby, chop. Let's go. Swung on and fouled out of play oh, again. Oh. Come on, Harris. Get the White Sox finger. Come on. Downstairs, ball two. Down. And and outside, ball two. Come on, Harris, let's do it. Because it's unhittable. Come on, Harris. The last instant, he checked up his swing. Come on. Two balls, two strikes. Foul ball. And Harris spoils it Oh, over. full boat, guys. Look at that, another Hundos pitch. Oh, no, that one. Oh, that was a foul ball. Two and two. I'm sorry. Harris, the this guy is throwing my, ball. my apologies, everybody. Well, two and two to count. Go pick fires. Two, two. Upstairs, ball three. 100 mile an hour again. Everybody, full boat, full boat. And, and now we got to wipe the juju off. The Last time you did that. Three and two to count. Three, two, count. Go pick fires. Chop, baby, chop. Chop. He walked him. Walked him. There, there we baby. Go. The game time run. This Orlando RC is this coming is up to bat for Atlanta. If he hits a home to run, a little pep talk, but it's going to we be take the lead. That's going to be doing most of come the on, play. baby. Come on. And now he looks in to see if Ethan is coming out. He is. Let's go. Chop. Chop. Opening day, there was a big situation. Let's go. Michael Kopech on the mound. It was bases loaded. Let's go. He was Chop, able to baby. Himself out of the jam with no runs across, and that really got his confidence boosted, and Chop. that's given him Chop. the opportunity Chop. to be in a situation like this.
Well, Pedro talked about that particular situation with Michael Kopech, saying that for his confidence and everything else going forward, let's have it was a important for run. him to get that out Come on, and get out of that us. inning without being let's scored have a upon, home which run. is why he didn't go get him. He, he wasn't thinking about Come on, bringing bro. anybody else in. That Shoot us a home run. He was going to get out of it, and he did. Come on, Arcia. And he gave him the confidence, and now he's got another confidence booster. you got to deal with Home run. Home run. Home run. run. Home run. Run. Home, run. Home, run. Home, Home run. run. Home run. Home run. Home run. Home run. Home run. Home run. Another 98. He's definitely chopping at that one. Because occasionally he will yes, he was. Base runner. You've got to look at Harris at first base. Although right now it's not a running lead. Orlando Harris has speed. I see it. I see you later. It calls timeout behind home uh, in I the batter's box. Taking his timeout early on an 0 1 count. So, oh, one to count. Two outs, runner on first, top of the ninth. High and tight, ball Ooh. one. I mean, you can see the 99 mile an hour. I'd like to see this guy's speed. last 10 pitches count. Like the uh, the speed of these last 10 pitches thus far. Yeah. Because this That's guy's been sending you. smoke. It smoke. Else when it gets close to the plate. Kopech set, fires. Oh, Swung on, fouled out of play, strike two. So we're down to our last strike, everybody. The last 10 pitches, 86. Our 98.2 mile an hour fastball, 99.2 mile an hour fastball, 97.8 mile an hour fastball. And will Michael then say, yeah, it's good enough. Let's go. So Kopech comes set. Fires. High and tight again. Slider misses 86. 86.4 mile an hour. Back and catch the inside corner because he did buckle the knees, meaning he completely fooled Arcia, but it was not a strike. Come on. So Kopech fires. Swung on and fouled out of play. We'll do it again. Two and two ah. to count. Come on, Arcia. Having fun, Steve? That was coming back uh, this way, but it was over our heads, which is good. Remember, bro. Chop, baby, deep, chop. Chop. Deep, chop. Mellow, chop. 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 on their feet. They want to see an ending to this. Oh, peck fires. Harrison delivers. Grounder. Oh, base hit through the oh. hole. Base hit. It's going to extend it, baby. Woo. Braves are not done yet. Come on. As the Braves refuse. Braves are not done. The no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. This one stayed on the inner portion. I'm not bringing out the Dixie Connor. horn. Has I'm not bringing it out. No, oh, sir. We got <laughs> Dietrich all aboard. Dietrich coming into play as a pitch hitter. Come on, Dietrich. Come on, Dietrich. Dietrich takes strike one. Come on, Dietrich. Come through big again, buddy. And you got to go after. Come on, D Train. On deck. <laughs> Come on, D Train. Come on. One and one to count. Kopech comes set. Fires. Upstairs. Ball two. Basketball two and one to D Train. And Maldonado wants to talk to his pitcher. Well, he's got Michael talking to himself, which is something he doesn't want to have happen. Michael's trying to give himself a pep talk here. Trying to pump up the fastball. He's keeping so everything. There's been a mound visit by Martin Maldonado. Pump, Come pump on, up, Dietrich. Pump up, pump, pump up, brain. Nailing it down late. Not the easiest thing in the world to do. He'll get better as he moves along. Well, thank you. This is a and the ball is running. He gets it out on the highway. How big was that insurance? Come on, D-Train. Eighth inning for the White Sox. Come on, D-Train. Chop it, baby. Chop it. Holding on Chop it. One run lead. Kopech so fires. Upstairs. They check down the first. Did not go around. Yes. Ball three. Did not go, Ump says. That's right. Three and one, baby. Out of the zone. Three and this one, baby. Side. He didn't swing. Come on, baby. Come on, Detroit. Come on, baby. Three 
three and one the count on Darno. On the up. And that up. Did That's good. Gonna be a strike. Clip the strike zone. Free boat. Uh, full boat, guys. Free boat. Now the disadvantages that will get a piece of the Come on. Lead. The disadvantages, the runners will be going. Come Lopez on. Comes set. Acuna on deck. Fires. The 3-2. Oh, it's popped up. On the infield. Shorts up underneath it. Oh, and out. Ah, oh, that's game. And White Sox got their first win of the season. Three, two. Atlanta Braves are going to pack on their second straight consecutive loss. Or, sorry, their second loss of the season. So they are now four and two on the season. Pedro didn't go out there. He just let him go get him. Congratulations to the White Sox and White Sox fans. Congratulations. Congratulations to them and to Michael Kopech and especially it was a great to game. Jared Crochet, who absolutely yes, was, it was just outstanding. I mean, it was really, again, really down stars, to the pitching. Back and forth, some really and brilliant pitching. First one of the year I mean, a very yep. good Atlanta team. I think Lopez did a, did a phenomenal job. It's yes, a lot of fun when you win, but Going it's even seven, more fun almost, when it's uh, a I think tough seven innings. Game, a great yep, something like that. End, and Michael Kopech, who we were told yeah, I'll be able to tell you here momentarily. Came in in the highest level yeah, Lopez went six innings, uh, four hits, one well run, one earned run, two walks, five strikeouts. So he had he had a pretty phenomenal night. Because he was trying to get a little bit extra. So he's going to relax into that. But and like I said, guys, congratulations to the Chicago seven. White Sox. He's going to keep that for a hard fought game to get the first win of the season. That's going to wind up on his so the score so recap: uh, Chicago White Sox with uh, three runs, seven the hits, no errors. Braves with two runs, five hits, staff. no errors. And the, so the final score of three to two. The the pitchers tonight was Ronaldo Lopez for the Braves and Garrett Crochet for the Chicago White Sox. Garrett Crochet went seven innings, three hits, one run, one earned run, one walk, eight strikeouts, and gave up one homer. But Crochet gets the win. But Minter come in for relief after Ronaldo Lopez went one inning, one hit, one run, one earned run. No walk, one strikeout, and gave up one homer. And Minter uh, takes the loss, but Mr. PJ's come in for relief for one inning, gave up two hits, one run, one earned run, one walk, and one strikeout. So there you have it. There's the, the pitching duel for tonight's game. Back to you, brother. Back to me, he said. All right, well, yes, sir. Thank you, everybody, for stopping out. Shout out to uh, to Lady, to Matt, to D, Mav, Laney, Celo, who stopped in, Matthew, Kenneth. Uh, we had quite a few. John, uh, let's see, Tim, through. Tim, Tim, panel. Thank you for popping in tonight. Uh, we're still looking, still looking. There's Tim's name. Jacob, thank you for popping in. Jacob. Yep. Matthew, my man, thank you for popping in. Yes, sir. I'm pretty sure I already said D. Yes, you did. Gene. Gene's brother, Savvy Sav. Thank you for Savvy. stopping in. Yep. And to Gene as well. Yeah, you have a good night there, Lenny. Anyways, thank you guys. Now I will be streaming it is like I said, weather permitting, internet permitting. Uh I do already have it scheduled up. Uh game time first first pitch will be at two ten Eastern, one ten central. So hey, this is KGB for the C Sports Network. Home beer streaming outlaws and my good buddy Maverick from Maverick Sports. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out, everybody. Have a good night. Peace. See you guys. Peace.